All right, we are back with another episode of Speedruns from the Crypt. Hope you're all having a great week so far. Hope you're all doing well. It is March 31st, and uh, where we usually start uh, GDQ time, it's around, I think, 10 p.m. EDT. Meaning uh, we're approaching uh, April Fool's Day. April Fool's, the, uh, you know, the eve of April Fool's. But uh, since this show tends to run pretty late, I figure this episode we're going to be showing you some absolutely good games. I, I didn't really have a theme for... <laughs> I don't have a theme for tonight, but uh, I'm going to say that the theme for tonight is good games. We're going to have a large downpour of great games on store for you, and uh, hopefully uh, no one will be left with a grudge on all this. Uh, anyway, though, before we do begin, I just want to do want to say that uh, SGDQ 2021 Online, it has opened up some missions. Uh, it will be July 4th to 11th for the events, and some missions are open from March 31st to, until April 11th. So if you want to run that, make sure you prepare your submissions and submit at SGDQ, or gamesdonequick.com. Uh, as well, if you're watching this on YouTube and would like to support our live content, please consider checking us out on the Twitch channel. Anyway, though, I hope you're all having a great week so far. Uh, if you couldn't tell from my emphasis on the last word, uh, we're going to be kind of uh, beginning the show with not just any downpour of games, but the downpour of games. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at what some people call the best Silent Hill game in the series, Silent Hill Downpour, with our runner Schmumbler. All right. All right. So, yeah, I can't think of a better possible description for this game. You know, we always got to say the best for last. Downpour was the last Silent Hill. Might be the last Silent Hill ever. Who knows? But going to take you through an any percent run uh, with me. You might recognize a couple of these voices here. So if my commentators will go ahead and introduce themselves. Oh, I get All right, I'll okay, do yeah. it. Yes. I'll do it. Yes, I Hello, <laughs> I am an eternal enigma. My vocal cords are, are fearing not ha after having not talked for a week, but uh, I am an eternal enigma. We're here for some good games, aren't we, Starwind? Well, yeah, I'm Starwind, and I hate that I'm on this show because freaking <laughs> Dice has had to make a pun just about everything before this started. Hi, Technically, guys. I just made one pun like five times. I don't like you. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna. We're, they have they have a great. We do. Star Wars. It's we good do, stuff. We do. But yeah, we're here's downpour, down everybody. Well. Yeah. So, just a uh, fair warning. This game starts off a little questionable. Yeah. Uh, if you're squeamish with excessive violence, then uh, maybe don't watch the first three minutes. I was gonna say um, when you're ready to call time or start time, just feel free to let us know and we'll start it. Yep, so we'll go ahead and go in three, two, one, woo, all and All right, guys, five-minute cutscene. How you guys doing? Woo, yeah, woo! All right, yeah. Yep, <laughs> yep. So the great part about Downpour is this is a good two and a half hours long, and about 66 minutes of that is pure, uninterruptible oh, cutscenes. Yeah. Including about the first 12 minutes of the entire game. Yep. Uh, you, get a, you get a good little... Mm, how long would you say? Maybe like a minute, minute, well, maybe about three minutes of actual game yeah, time. Yeah, like, the first the, usually minutes. where most of us do split for the first split in this game, at least for me, it's like 11 minutes in, and you probably move for like maybe two minutes of that, <laughs> so. Yeah. Yep, so here's our first movement section coming up here. We're going to walk down a hallway for about 30 seconds and watch another cutscene. Incredible. All right, Murphy, it's here's Mm -hmm. Only the most riveting of gameplay here in the down. Here's our, our, our pro tag for the next few hours. This is Murphy Pendleton. Wanted for reasons, which uh, the great thing is, while, yes, we do have to watch all the cutscenes, you actually are going to get the full story, because guess what? There's not that much tech in this game that causes you to skip or do anything. This is a very straightforward run. Make a quick cupcake. Yep. Everything that could be considered a skip really only skips yeah. like five seconds yeah. of the game at a time. Something that um, just happened is a piece of tech that we don't see again in, the, in this game. When you're when when he was walking to the shower doors, if you hold down right bumper, which is usually the run yep. button, he doesn't run, but he does walk faster. Which is stupid. So, uh. and it never <laughs> happens again. That's the only time you use that. Yeah, yeah. Also, fun fact. This shower sequence, it the game pretty much tries to tell you that you need to turn on all the showers mm -hmm. to fog up the cameras. Yeah. You only need to do three. Mm -hmm. 
I apparently didn't know that my entire time running this game at first. It wasn't until after I had taken world record from Oh My Queen that um, Enigma told me. Yeah. And you know what? The, the official strategy guide says that. It just says, you only need to turn on three of them. And that's the only reason I knew that. Yeah, the, the, what are those called again? The uh, yeah. pre, was, There's Prima and there's another one. You're not supposed to be here. Brady, Brady games. Brady, that's, yeah. uh, Brady games? Um, but yeah, but one of the cool things about this game is if you guys are actually really interested in picking up a Silent Hill game, but you don't want to like try that hard, this is the game for you. Like this is like one of the easiest games to pick up in the Silent Hill franchise. It's really long and really boring, but it's yeah. it's definitely just a very, very chill speed run. It really is, yeah. I would put this one and then probably Shattered Memories as the ones to to ease yourself into like learning the speed games. If you want to learn the Western games, that is. A lot of people don't. <laughs> yeah, like there's no, you don't have to worry about glitches or out of bounds, mm -hmm. there's none of that stuff. It's just, it, it really, it really, it'll get your, It'll get your skills refined on running lines and routes that is true. and stuff like that. So it is good for that. And and honestly, like more people would run this if it weren't for the cutscenes mm -hmm. being unable, uh, can't be skipped. Hey, more you good people RNG. would run this, I'm sure. See, honestly, I think this is. I think the cutscenes make this game way better because, <laughs> you know, it's almost three hours long. You need those coffee yeah, breaks. I just want to. And let me tell you. Oh, um. I just wanted to uh, oh, interrupt for a second just to say, I like how you guys are having this casual conversation while just beating the ever-loving, like, gods out of this guy. He deserves it. Yeah. That's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah. We don't actually figure out what he did until probably about two hours into the two and a half so, hour so run. It's but, very you know, casual. It's pretty, it's pretty bad, and thankfully this game is so bad at telling a yes. story <laughs> that you, you can easily miss it and not know what he did. Uh, so we'll just pretend well, like we missed it. Why? So. You know exactly why. <laughs> you know why. You know exactly why. I don't think that's a good way of threatening people. You can't just tell them you know why. Happy downpour. All right. So, uh, what is it? Five, five minutes more of cutscenes right now? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, about. You, we're going to have the little walking area here and then, and then and more cutscenes. I don't actually know if I can claim yeah. this, but I don't think this is the worst game I've put on the show. I agree. Because I, I have to argue that I think Amy might yes. be a notch worse. Yes. But I already put Amy on the show, so I couldn't do it today. Mm. Yeah, speaking of which, speaking of which, I did download that. <laughs> have fun. Uh -oh. I was going to give it a... That reminds me, I, I want to yet. give a shout out to uh, one of our viewers. I have to double check the name, but uh, someone actually, because like, you know, when you do these GDQ shows, every, uh, you know, people watch, they get inspired to start speedrunning and very happy for it. The only game I'm aware of that someone got inspired to start speedrunning was Amy. Yeah, a recent runner started running the me game. Me the G. Yeah. Me the G. If you're watching, a big shout out to you. You, and, you ran Amy. You actually ran Amy. And I think they got the record for hard mode, I think. <laughs> they, they beat my time. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. I'm sure Starwin knows that very well. I know this very memories. well from a lot of games recently. All because, and trust me, I would be playing these games if I had the means to do so. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, oh I yeah, I forgot. Too, like that, so. I forgot that just happened recently. <laughs> mm. uh, but yeah, the, one oh, thing. Go ahead, Enigma. Go ahead. One thing I just want to do while the, they're showing the names on the screen. There was a name that just showed up. Uh, Martin Hebert, I think his name was. This is interesting. A about a year or two ago, he put up a picture on the Silent Hill subreddit, a, a really cute picture of his daughter cosplaying Pyramid Head. Aww. And when people figured out who he was, the comment section turned into like an impromptu AMA on this game. Oh, that's and he was answering questions. And I jumped in and said, okay, look, what's the deal with the cutscenes? Why can you not skip them? What is, wh you know, what is the deal? And he responded, he said, he just said that had to have been a decision that was made from up top because that's just, that had to be an intentional decision, but he didn't know anything beyond that. So it was just like, okay, so. Now, speaking of the cutscenes, I do want to point out, you can, you can pause yeah. the cutscenes. Yeah. 
You just can't. Wait, you can them. pause them. You can pause the. Yeah, why would you? Yeah. I guess you know you have to stand up and you don't want to miss out on the story. That's, that's the beautiful thing about this game. The amount of okay, I'm just saying. Like when I had the record in this game, at least three or four times uh, during the run, I would get up to go get a drink. I'd go to the bathroom. I'd go high five my cat and be like, oh cool, I got record while doing all that stuff. That's the beauty of this game. Mm -hmm. So I actually know a technical thing. I don't know if all three of you do it, but you're actually running this on the uh, the X. Uh, what's the series X? The X Bone Sad, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, this is actually oh. the series yep, X. The series X. So how much? Uh, no, uh, yeah, oh, which actually surprisingly it's has really a few quirks. <laughs> With what it is. Well, it's really stupid because of the decreased load times, which saves about two minutes. But, a couple other things. So, this game used to be timed on in-game time, and it's not anymore because the in-game timer doesn't count the final boss fight for some reason. <laughs> but even if it did, turns out Series X saves about 45 seconds in-game time, too, just because this, yeah. the frame rate is so uh, Enigma, I think, uh, do you, do you have anything you want to say about this, uh, this cutscene here? Mmm, oh, well, you know... We got Ann Cunningham here. Stops Murphy, right? Oh, hello. Wait a here minute. It comes. This is where she says the iconic line. Here it comes. Yeah. Bus. That line right there. Yeah. And we have made like a mountain mountain of memes. One of the hottest emotes on Twitch you'll see in the chat. Uh, right here, uh, thanks to Ann Cunningham, and it, it's just—it's just taken on a life of its own. This is the legacy of Downpour. We just—we get on the bus. Dude, I'm, I That's how we celebrate Downpour. I need to get in there. What am I doing? Ooh, 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 there we go. There we go. It's—it's it's okay. I have an—I have another emo to share of my own when we oh, get to yeah, see yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I guess question for um, I'll sort of Schmumbler, but all of you really um, what made you want to run this game? <laughs> Oh, well, um, geez. For me, at least, it's just because, because this is a bad one, and because, you know, I like running the bad games because it means that I actually get enjoyment for my money. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. And not only do I get enjoyment from for my money, but I get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. <laughs> I know that feeling all too well. Uh, I guess for me, uh, I just learned, was learning all the Western Silent Hill games first. I started with uh, Homecoming, then Downpour, Shadow Memories, Origins, and then gradually went on to two and three. And now I just need to learn one and four and I can learn them all. But there's a man that I'm going to give the mic to now who knows all too well about every single game. Miss <laughs> yeah. Well, for this game, it, it was a joke. I'll be, I'll just be straight up. I thought it was just gonna be a one-time deal. One of my moderators, uh, Knives112, uh, came up with the idea, and he said, "Er, it never is." He said, "Uh, what was that? I'm sorry." That it never is. Oh a yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, my my brain was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> but yeah, it's never a one-time thing, and uh, so I did it as a joke. Uh, Nub Zombie and UFO Techie uh, coached me through it. And I, I thought about it and I was like, well, uh, that wasn't really so bad. You know, it was it was a sub goal thing. If we hit an emote slot, I was going to do it. So I said, okay, I'll do it once. And we did it. And I thought about it the next day and I said, oh, that wasn't really that awful. Mm, nope. Let me, you know, people seem to like it for what it is. You know, the jokes and everything. Let me just do it again. And then within, what was it, like three or four months, I had gotten the record. <laughs> and it was like, oh, well, this is what it became. We turned a meme into a world record. Yeah, the, and, this, uh, this game has been passed around a lot in terms of the world record spot. It has, I've, ha yeah. I've had it. Schmumbler's ha yeah. uh, has it. Enigma's had it. Queen's had it. Oh, my queen. Like, there's been so many people. Uh, Parallax was yeah. like the original one. We don't see Parallax much anymore. Yeah, I hope he's yeah, doing same well. Here. He, he, he did a lot of these Western games, Parallax DG yeah. back in the day. Uh, he, he's still got the world record on Glitchless Homecoming, yeah. God bless him. 
Uh, so, uh, but yeah, I hope he's doing well with whatever, th wherever he is now. I think Shovel Mage also deserves a good mention here because he did, or did a lot of routing for this game too, especially for right. the 100% category, which there is, there is a 100% category for this no. game and it's terrible. Also, we have actual gameplay. Oh yeah, we're playing, we're playing the game now. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, we're about 12 minutes in. We finally get full control over Murphy. And we're gonna have it taken away from us as soon as we get across the street. The, the yeah. real question is, has anybody lost a run right here? Just right here falling off? Because I have. Yes. You, you, watch, uh, you watch 12, 13 minutes of cutscenes and then you die right here. And it's like, well, get the reset and watch it all again. You know what? You know what the worst part about the cutscenes is? Watching them. You have, these t you have these two that have the decision uh, yeah. at the end of them. And not this one, but okay. J JP's. That's far enough. I s just zone out super hard, and the dialogue line right before the decision does not sound like it's leading to a decision it? at all. And I will just sit there for 30 seconds without oh, pressing right, anything. It, yeah, I know, I know the line that he's, what, what the line is, yeah, I can see that. I've trained myself at this point during these, this one and the other one with Seder to just to just spam the button even if i'm talking it to chat or something and just i just spam the button the whole time so i don't miss it that's all a long time to spam that button and it, but you gotta do what you gotta do you know this is not very this is insane like you think she would have done something different like not point the gun the whole time i'll meet you back down in the bus okay anger anger oh. does things to people by the way, we have still about two and a half hours left to go before we do this, but I do want to see people in the chat uh, letting us know what they want us to do at the end, whether we want to save or kill. We can make a poll yes. for that. We can make, uh, we can make a poll in uh, Twitch chat for that. We'll do it around. Uh, just let us know, like, maybe do it during 10 the minutes before say, do, that. Do it when the final boss fight starts. All right. Uh, yeah, the poll lasts, that's... what, two minutes, one minute? Final boss? No, it's a good... No, nah, it's, yeah, it's about right. four minutes long. Yeah, minutes. you do the final boss, and then you got to do, like, uh, watch some more stuff. Another it's, three minutes of cutscene, yeah. Woo! Got to make sure you move to the right spot so you can trigger the cutscene to climb. So on harder difficulties, you can, you actually have to climb up it, if I'm not mistaken. Can I be wrong, or am I thinking of a different game? You... Mm, mm. No, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you, you do. What either. game am I thinking of? I'm gonna, to, I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to look that up in my brain later. I have no idea what I'm thinking of. Uh, dude, I'm thinking of uh, Until Dawn. I was about to say Until Dawn. Ah, yeah. well, Until Dawn, uh, even like, in general, you have to use QTEs to climb, which is, yeah, I like no. Until Dawn. I think it's actually really interesting. Right there, what he just did to get to that ladder, that camera angle is so obnoxious. Yeah, so that's actually supposed to be a cutscene, but in this game, there are some in-game cutscenes that you can continue to move during. And so yeah, we cut off that cutscene by hitting the ladder before it ends. Yeah. So, and I think we just yeah. I think we just saw a difference with the Series yep, X. Right there. Murphy on top of that gas station. It usually just kind of hitches and stops because the game has to load stuff in the background, but he just ran right across the top. That was yeah. one yeah. of the it also usually on the other consoles slows yeah, you down to a walk. Anytime you see Schumber but... just like slow down, like you see Murphy kind of crouching. It, it's not him, it's the game forcing him to do that because it's trying to load stuff ahead of it. And at Series X, guess what? You just get to skip all that just because it's finally a strong enough system to handle this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I see people complaining about the frame rate a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's still not this, great, but this, uh, is, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> this is two generations later this is and it still runs like this. compared to like Xbox One and 360, trust me. Hey, guess what? Cutscene. Yep. Now we get to get introduced to our wonderful favorite new character of the Tom Hewlett era, Howard Blackwood. This guy. He's in Book of Memories, too. I th he's the merchant in yes, that, isn't he? Yes, he is. Correct. We don't talk about that game either. No, 52. Yeah. Flathead V8. Well, listen, yeah. hey, they're, hey, I'm just, they're I shutting see. they're shutting down the Vita shop on August 27th, the day before my birthday. Uh, so if you haven't gotten your book of memories fixed, mm -hmm. you, you, I'm just letting you know. What? It's one, one of those things you might or might not miss. Uh, or you can just buy a physical really bad like that. Because I bought a physical, and then I learned three days hmm. later, there's a digital version. 
Well, mm -hmm. that physical version is going to skyrocket in price, so keep that. And, and, and there's DLC for Book of Memories that make the game significantly easier to play. Well, so it's actually it's worth buying? Away. It, w it will it, be. It, it makes the game, uh, worth, but you know what the game I mean. easier to play. I mean, it makes the game easier to play. Okay, okay, good to know. I, I like the phrasing you're using there. <laughs> That's, that's, that's just straight up honesty. It just makes the game easier. You know to what's play. really funny though about Book of Memories and that's DLC? Up. This game, we abuse DLC in this game, don't we, guys? Oh God! Well, yes. DLC slash yes, pre-order code. Let's let's. Yeah. The, yeah. Oh man. Can, <laughs> when what? Well, I got. We'll, when we get there, we'll tell the story. I would love it's to just, hear because I. Oh, the yeah, story, I the story is great. really weird. Window. Let's let's hold off until we get to that locker. I, t I tell this to people I tell it to people on my stream and it, I just get the most incredulous responses when I explain how they did this it's but we'll get there to be fair we'll if every company did their pre-order DLCs like that I would be super happy because I would never oh, have to pre-order yeah, it again 100% it's good. It's good for the con well. No, sort of. no. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know about that. Good luck, Murphy. Hope you find whatever it is it's you're still kind of crappy that it was split between three different stores, but oh boy! So I hope everyone. It was very, What's very unique. Hope everyone's enjoying uh, the speed run. This is a speed run, I promise. We we are speed running this game. Uh, it's just super chill, though. That's just what it comes down to. It's a super chill game. Yeah, it it will it, yeah, it will so, pick up a yeah. little bit after this. The first actual bit of tech is in about mm, 10, 15 more minutes. <laughs> 10 more minutes. Yeah. Hey, I'm just saying. About a half hour into the game. Only the only the best games on tonight's hot picks. Well, actually, there is something that I've been toying around with that I might be able to pull off in just a little bit, but we'll see how that goes because it's it's been a crapshoot. Are you talking about the running from the light in a circle? Yeah, because on the second lap, there's actually a chance there, to there, not get I know, slowed down a at all. Setup, there, oh. there is a setup for it. I, I, I know how to do it, and I can do it pretty consistently. It's just that I don't run the game anymore, and I never got it like in a run. There was one time where I was practicing it for an hour, and I could get it consistent. But yeah, when you're doing the second lap, you don't get slowed about slowed down by this big spooky light that we're about to see. Yeah, I mean, that yep. saves like five to ten seconds on its own. This can't be happening. Which, I mean, two and a half hour game, you th you would think that that would be a pretty small time <laughs> game, but there's not really anything that you can do to speed this game up, so M every much second like is Shattered huge. Memories, you making minor mistakes can cost you like a PB or a record, because there really isn't much time to save. It, this yeah. game, this game is optimized. Shattered Memories was getting optimized. I mean, it's it's insane. I was gonna I was huh. going to address that earlier when you were asking about runs that get stopped on the little plank balance beam. There are points wh where my splits are, my times are at the point now where if the game's little artificial whatever they do to make Murphy like artificial resistance makes him stop, I might reset on yep. that. Like that's it's to that point now. Like that. It's wide exactly. hitbox, it's wide Murphy. <laughs> He's large. Uh, the hitboxes in this game are terrible. And the worst part is, too, it's not just, like, detecting collision. You can actually get your hitbox stuck inside something mm -hmm. else's hitbox and just get stuck there for 30 now, seconds. Right there, if you're wondering why he went, like, in a U-shape, the that little hallway is designed for you to not be able to go through anything until the third thing you go through. So he had to run by the first two doors to get the gates to slam down so he could go through that third one, which was the closest Spoo route to where he needs to go. Spoo oh, that was close. Slide. So sincere oh, question boy. about the game. No. Uh, what did the sliding thing first, this game or Tomb Raider? This one, huh. actually. No, this game came out before Tomb Raider, so. Yeah. Near identical, yeah. though. I was just fixing to say something about that. That's weird to think that this game was the original for that. Also, what is this place? interesting little tidbit that doesn't have anything to do with the game itself, but on Twitch, the soundtrack for the game itself, which was composed by Daniel Licht, does have a tendency to get muted yep. at times. 
But then these license tracks are never any issue at all. Huh. Weird, but that's how it works. Yeah, whoever is in charge of Daniel's um, backlog, unfortunately, he passed yep. away a few years ago. Uh, whoever is in charge of that has put a lot of his stuff into content ID on YouTube and Audible Magic, so a lot of it, unfortunately, gets muted on uh, on Twitch and things. But yeah, all these other songs just, yeah. just fly right on Born by. Born so. free. That's the one. Also, a uh, porn song in this game? <laughs> Wait, what? Hmm? I wish, like, uh, doesn't this, uh, the band Corn, right? Yes. Mm. Okay. Yep. They did the, the, um, gotcha. opening song. I can tell you. Technically, it's just, uh, credited to oh, the lead yep. singer. Jonathan but... Davis. If, if I can, Schmumbler, cut me off, you need to explain something, but I can tell you a funny story about the production of that song, which kind of gives you a little insight of how this game was developed, if you'd like me to. Sure. Quick one. Uh, so Jonathan Davis was was contacted to make the make a song for this game, and he reached out. This is according to him. This isn't hearsay. He said this. He was uh, he was trying to reach out to the dev team, to Konami, to you know get some sort of you know information about the game and just kind of get some ideas so he could write a song. And nobody would respond to him. That was cool. So uh, uh, nobody would respond to him. And he would, so he just pulled up the trailer that they showed at E3 2011 and wrote the song in a weekend just based on the trailer because he said nobody else would give him any information about the game. So it's that really gives you a little weird. insight. Yeah. So here's. And it's not a bad, not a horrible it's not song. A, it's, like not. It's, 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 it's not. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I, depending on the opinions of the band Korn, I think it's actually a good fit for a Silent Hill game, weirdly enough. That, or at least Jonathan Davis. Happened? Silent Hill is also a little weird in that way where most of the openings for the franchise are just weird rock songs that are really cool, but you would never expect them to be the opening for a horror game. Especially Silent Hill 2, I feel like. Uh, okay, theme, theme of Laura Box, man. Mm, yeah, it does. It's a good song. <laughs> So we're, uh, we're, we're, we're coming up on another very important combat tutorial uh, here. I love, I love it. Can we also just, uh, so, real quick, just uh, also look at the enemy design, please. <laughs> yeah, we'll get a good look here. And I also want to go ahead and throw this out there before we get back to the, the gameplay, but um, one of the big issues with running this game is when you go through a transition like a cutscene or climbing a ladder, the game has a really bad tendency to make your control yeah. direction stick to where no matter where you're holding the left stick, you will move in a predetermined direction for a second or two. Yep. Most of the time it's climbing up a ladder and it takes you right back down the ladder. Yep, sure does. Here it just sends mm -hmm. you straight into the wall instead of towards this door. So I actually have to like Spam the direction that I want to go repeatedly and just hope that he goes the Sounds direction like that I Sounds like a Silent Hill 2 method because of their wonky camera angles. Like, they do, you do the same thing in Silent Hill 2 runs, you wiggle the stick. That was another all-important combat tutorial, which we were able to completely skip. So that's... that's Ringo. Nice. Just, just run them by. Yep. And oh, thank God we're back outside. Right into the downpour. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> so this part right here, um, if he had gone inside to do the the little puzzle mm -hmm. deal and then come back out to turn this crank, there would be an enemy that would spawn. But because he's going this way first, the enemy does not Which spawn. Which is beautiful. Here, so What's up? Yeah. Yep. And now we get into the weird inconsistencies between the Series X and the other mm -hmm. consoles. Oh, How can, We're about to see are you gonna, the first one. Are you going to jailbreak? You can't do it now. It's impossible. It's too hard. Oh, yeah. Just barely oh, get it. So oh, there we go. <laughs> but, um, so we're going to have our first actual wave of enemies after we get a ticket here and put some new clothes on. 
Oh yeah, also. And I don't know what it is about the Series X, but it makes all the enemies I behave don't like differently. That. that makes me sad. Also, before before we leave this puzzle, this game does let you pick a puzzle difficulty, and if you pick hard puzzle difficulty, all it does is yes. put more holes on the yeah, door. Puzzle, yeah, puzzle difficulty, they try to bring yeah. that back because ever since, uh, uh, two yeah, and two three. and three, you know, everyone liked the puzzle difficulty, we, they, we didn't have it, and Downpour's like, oh, we'll bring it back, and it's, it's so stupid, like, it's not hard. It doesn't... It just makes them different, not hey, harder. Hey, there's there's so. two empty spots for these digits. On hard, there's three empty spots for the digits. Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah. There'll be better examples yeah. of those later on as well. So, yeah. here. On easy, you grab the, the quarter on this shelf, but on hard, you yeah, grab it from so this silly. shelf. All right. So, here we go. Series X combat time. Let's see what happens I'll... here after he opens this gate. Yeah. So, normally when I go through here, there's a siren ahead of me that screams at me. And we try to manipulate it where he doesn't scream. Now, the one in front of me never screams because the one that spawns behind me always screams, and it's very... Really? Really? Just odd. Yeah. Oh, no, you screamed. That's Are really you weird. Saying... I, I, can, I can tell you right now, that doesn't normally happen. Are you saying that this That's has never ne happened before? Uh... I, I mean, that's, it's, that's what usually would happen, like, if you're running on Xbox One. <laughs> So you're saying this yeah. has happened before? Yeah. So the, on every the, other the console, but though, since out. he did get triggered with an attack, he does get a little speed boost. You get a little tiny speed boost when you get attacked by enemies. It's very, very, very small. Yeah. But you do get it. Also, getting hit mm -hmm. knocks you out of the stun lock too. So that actually ended up saving me about a second. We about how getting onto this tram is really hard, unless that is different on the Series X as well. Okay. Yeah, getting on this uh, thing no, is I'm stupid. It's worse. like you have to be. Can't be worse than that. Getting, getting on and worse. getting off is worse. ridiculous. It's it, it's insane. <laughs> and in case anybody was yeah. wondering, that was indeed the ticket machine Murphy uh, set up. Yeah. Uh, in case anybody needed to know, it was indeed the ticket, ticket machine. machine. Well, Schmumbler, when are you getting? Nice Schmumbler, when are you going to do a home port run? So I actually just got one of those cheapo USB HDMI nice. capture cards. Good. So I have the means, it's just nice. a matter of setting it so up. So for anyone curious what a home port run is, it's something of my, becomes something that came out of my brain uh, since uh, Downpour has unskippable cutscenes and Homecoming is one of the quickest uh, Silent Hill speed games to do. Uh, speed, speed run Homecoming during the cutscenes of Downpour. And so far I've been able to beat home, Homecoming twice before beating Downpour once. Yeah, it's actually at the point now where we can do a full yeah. all bosses run. Expect, I'm about to say, <laughs> especially now, this like, because Series X with Homecoming, it gets the boost with load times as well, which is very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so when I ran the all bosses game at SGDQ, we ended up going over my PB by like, what, 5th, 14 minutes, mm -hmm. something like that. And it still would have fit in the cutscenes of this game. That's that's what? how much time you Was get. it that much? I didn't remember it being that long. Well, yeah. I, I just remember the yeah. elevator part being a little finicky, and then... Yeah. Yeah, I just don't... I, I, I didn't that's... realize you set your estimate that high, to be honest with you. I think that's what that threw me off. Well, I set it that high because I opened up the ending uh, choice, so I didn't know if I would have to okay, go speak with Dad. Sense. Hey guys, cutscene. Hey. Oh yeah, we meet our meet the our name's buddy JP, JP for the first time. And that tears the devil's pit. He says it can. Uh, he, what he what does he say about the Empire State Building? Basically, his facts are wrong. <laughs> yeah, he says the entire Empire State Building can be put in this and not reach the top. I and mean, like, and, and then like. Uh, I did the. Uh, there was one streamer I did the math and it did not work. I swear. What if he dismantled it? I would. <laughs> Maybe he just means break the Empire State Building and then throw it in the pit. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think I can find a lot of places to stick the Empire State Building if I break it apart. Well, I mean, yeah, but or melt it. <laughs> He's just trying to tell an impressive fact to sell you on the Devil's Pit. See, it's hot. It'll melt it, as Enigma says. 
to see get everyone that 490 okay. meters that's about 1500 see feet. everyone this is what right. we have to talk about. let's see how right. tall is empire state building i'm going to check Also, uh, during this cutscene, while well, Eggdysis is looking that up, uh, are, what re are you playing this on 1080p resolution on the Series X? Uh, actually, okay. yes. Because I, I yep. have run this on 4K on the Series X, and it does appear that the loading times do run a little longer if you're on the 4k resolution so there is a little bit of strategy there if running this on 1080 the cutscenes are shorter on the small resolution and correct me if i'm wrong but i think you also looked into this and there's no difference between 1080p and 720p on the series x correct there wasn't any that okay. i could tell now okay. And 720 is the lowest that the Series X will let you go, so you can't go to 480 like you can on the Xbox One. How about you show me? Sorry. But yeah, I'd say... I'd say maybe like a second or two mm -hmm. total on 720 compared to 1080. Bye, GP. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so looking this up, apparently the Empire State Building Don't is about... 100 or uh, 1454 uh feet to the tip hmm. that's actually weird and then close. if you don't count the tip it's 1250 feet so if you just count like the the base building right. so i guess you could fit it in here see star when he's right oh here's another chance for me to get screamed at i think she's nope she is checking yeah. good or please 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 uh good all right here come here comes we actually some of the first real legit tech, and it's called throw the wrench across the bridge or the axe, I should say. Yep. What does it do? Yep. So that's the, all it is. Yeah. So when you come across this bridge, it falls apart, and you have to climb up. And this normally gets rid of everything in your inventory. <laughs> but we threw the axe ahead of time, so it's not in our inventory for and it to get rid of. And the main reason we do that is we would lose the axe right here, and we'd be forced to grab a pickaxe, which is a two-handed weapon. Uh, we're gonna have to be breaking a lot of boards to get to areas well the uh, using a two-hand weapon it has more startup time and more recovery time uh than a one-headed weapon so we yeah. throw the axe in order to have faster swings saves a little bit of time yeah the two-handed weapon swings like maybe a quarter of a second slower than the the one-handed so you know when we have to break probably 15 boards between here so and like the end of this area yeah like right that's like right here it's pretty like boom, significant boom 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 we'd probably be swinging two more times like waiting still yeah yep yeah. so every time we come to a boarded up door it's going to be five swings and actually there's four before we switch out to the, the, the big the, funny uh, weapon. weapons so it's a dumb question. Where is this game supposed to take place? I remember playing this game, but I don't even actually remember if it's like the same Silent Hill or if it's like a different Silent Hill. So it is Silent Hill. That said, we're not actually going to get to Silent Hill until about 45 yeah. minutes in, maybe more closer to 50. Right now we're just in the Devil's Pit, which is a giant cave system outside of Silent Hill. So pretty much Hill. when we get done with this area, well, we will be in Silent Hill. Oh, this is another change with the uh, with the difficulty uh, yes, setting. Yes, yes, yes. If we had it, if if we had it on a higher difficulty setting, it would put a box in the middle of that walkway that you had to push away to get no. it. No, that's all. That's all. No. It, that's that, no, that's you, all it is. You push it underneath the doorway so that it doesn't close shut when you turn the generator yep. on. That's all you got. All you got to yep. do is just push the box. That's. And that, I think that's on normal and hard. I don't think it's any different on hard. I think it's the same as hard and normal. Here comes Murphy Scream. Murphy Scream it incoming. Is. Oh, also another bit of tech. So when I pushed the button on this elevator, I made sure to stand perfectly still and not move at all. Because if you don't move at all, then the camera will be facing kind of forward where we actually need to go. If you move at all, the camera faces behind you and you have to turn around. That's dumb. It's really dumb. Also, just a moment to answer a question I'm seeing in chat. If you, the game is lagging, that's because this is a very well-made game. Yeah, no, that is 100% <laughs> not on my end. That is the this game This game itself. is just, uh, 
It's trying. It's well made. So that right there, he's got to he's got to hit that enemy to get it uh, to be able to move that cart. And I think the best RNG on that is two hits. But I think that one was about yeah. three, I think. Yeah. Yep. Downpour follows the good old Silent Hill one and two tradition where enemies can have random health mm -hmm. or something like that, because it'll take anywhere from two to five hits to knock down an enemy. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing in chat. Yeah, that's right. With Silent Hill, uh, this game does take place, yes, in uh, Centralia, Silent Hill. Yes, I, about to say, is, I was about to say, uh, I, should, I should have known that from uh, from your baseball team, <laughs> Enigma. Yeah, that's right. My MLB The Show team, the Centralia Downpour. Uh, they're, we're getting ready for MLB The Show 21 coming in about two weeks. Uh, those so are, those are go. good times. So this is a different sound. They're huh? coming back. But no, in all seriousness, no. That's uh, it. We're just messing around with the Centralia thing. But yeah, you. we're gonna get to Silent Hill, I think. After uh, I think after this area. A we'll, we'll uh, real talk, the little work. area that he just walked through, like it's pretty narrow, and you can get stuck on the sides so easily. You have to stay right in the middle of that pathway, yep. or you will get stuck. It's so stupid. Yep, and that ladder, like any other ladder, you can just accidentally go right back down, and it's. You have to watch the entire animation of him going down because and then back up. Because in some parts, you want to buffer your movements after a cutscene, but there's a couple of spots where you do that, and it's going to screw you over. I'm talking about a certain window ledge that we climbed through. Oh. Yep. It's you. Hey, it's JP. What are you doing, JP? So this is, uh, this is the second of our two dialogue choices, which doesn't change the game, but affects the ending. So... This will be the second like of those spots. To be and even then, it's somewhat because you can technically do the good answer choices and then still get the bad like ending. Like kill a bunch of things? Yeah, kill it's too so, many yeah, enemies. that's crazy. That's what I kept telling them. Yeah, I read, yeah, all, I read all, all about it. It's like, did you, Murphy? Did you really? I read a headline. What happened? That was an accident. We're about two frames I didn't mean to hurt nobody. this is the paper yeah. that we grabbed off the door on our way in the game forces you to look at that so that this yeah, so jp makes sense. was uh having too much of the drinky drinky while on the job and some kids died negligence and whatnot and yeah good question because the train that we're working so hard to get on is the train that he was driving and crashed Good, good question in chat. Graceful Berry Pie says, "How did JP beat us down here? Like, how did he get ahead of us? How did he? How did he?" I have, I absolutely have an answer for that. Oh, actually, okay. one hundred percent. If I were to turn my camera right, you will see the platform that we were just talking to him a little bit ago. And when you're going, like, to break those first boards to go into the cave system. To the right, there's actually a little bridge that goes over to this platform, but it's broken. And of course, this being a video game, that stops us even though it's only like a two foot gap. <laughs> yeah. But JP, JP is a normal human being and he can cross a two he foot gap. He's not beholden. So there you go. He's not beholden to the rules of video games, so he can cross that gap. I, I was thinking there was an employee elevator, yeah. but okay, that one all works too. Yeah, no, it's actually like right next to the other deck makes sense all right now we're going into the final trials of the of the devil's pit the cave of it was a cave of tears yeah cave of tears hey, it's like a lot so of there, there's the broken gap right there oh yep, yeah you are is, right yeah. that's dumb you're right i've never really paid attention to somebody that. figure out how to fly in this game so we can skip all this so we can skip yeah Oops. gotta put a bounty on that yeah that would be a hundred dollars for the save. first person to find cutscene skips Starwin loves his uh, glitch bounties. I still have bounties. Wait, what bounties do you have? The the gun on the homecoming, gun, the I gun think. homecoming right. in the prison. It's just a gun when you're doing the clips in the prison. But oh yeah, the one that's you just can't completely get it. And if you try to clip any anywhere near it, just fall to the floor and die. Hmm. You can get that gun though. Hey, Where's this guy? Uh, oh, he wait, didn't jump up. Wait, wait yet? Yeah. What a bro! Nice. So those are weeping bats. They like to climb on the ceiling. And this is actually really, really important. Remember how I said you get a small speed boost if like you're near an enemy? Well, there's like three weeping bats on the ceiling. So if everything goes right, there's one right here when you leave. And sometimes you can get a speed boost. It doesn't look like you got it. But uh, it's just random. 
if they're in that spot, if you do get it, it saves a little bit of time, not a lot, but it's it's nice to, to get it. Fuck. Hello, friend. Oh, he's gonna block you. Uh, okay, uh, of course that, you blocked that's me. what a jerk. Uh, the one second block. <laughs> All right, we're almost out of here. We're almost actually in the town of Silent Hill now. Are we? Are we? We got. Oh, sorry. We got one last siren to take care of, so we'll see how many. The real question is, is the, oh, do yeah. you yellow it? No, I don't. Except this morning, I was doing one last practice run, and I hit this siren five times, uh, and it was still not down. And I just said, "Screw it," and went. That can happen. Like uh, it's definitely a thing. The, the, the. Yeah. So, the most times I've hit an enemy in this game, or a siren in particular, without it going down, is there's one siren in the orphanage about two hours in. I hit eight times with a double-headed axe. Dude, and it she was did going for the scream, like like immediately. This must be the dream. All right, hard puzzle. Here we go. C F. or is it? Yeah, EAC, EAD, EAC. E uh, finicky e -E controls. Okay. EAC, yeah. It's too like long e since I played this. Up. Oh, yeah. Right. You can actually do that really quickly, but where's the siren? There she is. Controls Bye, this game. Very touchy. She was standing. Oh, she she was actually alive? screamed at you after you got on the uh, the to the tram for the train. She screamed. She was really excited for your roller coaster ride. She, she was mad because yeah, you got on her. without her. It's a long line. Yeah. That's okay. So if you guys didn't pay attention extra. to the uh, the screamers uh, like enemy design, so of course they scream, but they actually just have like like nubs for hands with like just nails through them, like it's it's really silly. Enemy design in this game is uh, yep not the best. There's also not that many enemies. <laughs> yeah, there's. But one, two, three, four. Technically six different enemies, but three of them are the same one, just with different loadouts. You're talking about the prisoners, and then we got yeah. the. Uh, you want to? You, you, would you count the floating ball, or is that an, or is that an environmental oh. hazard? The, the light, the light that chases you. The black hole. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that I would count it as an enemy. You know, not that it's any better than any oh, of the other ones. Oh, speaking of uh, enemies and bosses and whatnot, this game has one boss fight. And this spot right here, it looked like they wanted to do a boss fight for this spot, but they just decided not to. This game literally has a final boss, and that's it. I think someone did a dive into there, the game files. Yeah. I think it was I think it was Neko Run who did it and found there were some files here called jp underscore boss so that kind of lended some credence to that but yeah they just i guess they just couldn't get it to work so they they just they just cut it uh, so. okay. welcome to the worst quick time event of all time uh -huh, it's funny uh -huh. <laughs> and why is it so if you actually do yep. that quickly you die. Oh. if you do that too fast Hey, it sounds like it like misses like homecoming. <laughs> it misses your inputs or something. It's homecoming. It's, Don't mash too yeah. hard, you lose. <laughs> Don't mash too hard, or your entire uh, arm gets ripped off. Oh, good times. Definitely haven't lost a run to that oh, before. Man. We, we, At least in that yeah. game, the Me opening cutscene is only like three minutes. Yeah. Before uh, you even yeah, start before the timer, you even yeah. start the timer, exactly. So that would be the, the the boss, like that. That's like the boss file, like like JP. But it would have been interesting because we just kind of get Murphy screaming bloody murder, and that's it. And then boom, loading screen. So I think this is our pre-order locker. Yes. Right? If you want to go ahead, I'll say, go ahead and explain the story, it. or or maybe explain how this works. Remind me, what were the three stores? It was GameStop, Amazon. Best what Buy. was the third one? Best yes. Buy. Best okay. Buy. So here, okay. So here's how Silent Hill Downpour handled their pre-order things, and and I'll explain why it's relevant uh, to to everything here while we're watching this cutscene and and so on and so forth. So typically, even during the PS3 360 era, when you got a pre-order bonus, that you know they printed out a code for you to redeem on the marketplace. So Silent Hill Downpour did something a little bit different. 
they just gave you a code to use on a locker the inside the game, which will be coming up after this. So the inherent the issue with this is it only takes one this. person to pre-order the game, up. and then they can Please, put the code on the internet, and everybody's got it. So that's is, that's that's funny, here. but 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 but, but it gets a little wackier when it comes to speedruns, and I've run into this issue. So, when you enter this pre-order code in, there is no way to reset the locker. Once you put it in, it is there forever. Now, if you have the PlayStation 3 version of this game, you can remove all of your data, and then it will reset, and then you're fine. The reason we do this is because we have to have a specific locker to get specific weapons for speedruns. And I forget who who the nail gun and the double who had the nail gun and the double sided axe. Games, it's, I'm, I'm, looking, it I'm looking at that right now, real quick. Amazon had the pistol and the bat. You also got a ten dollar Amazon credit with that. G GameStop gave you the nail gun and the double axe. Best Buy gave you fifteen percent off the game guide of your choice, and then two bonus in-game weapons, which is the rifle and golf club. Very nice, very nice. So that that solved that one. So. Why is that relevant to speedruns? Well, we need the nail gun and the double-sided axe for, you know, the best times, and we'll explain why later when they come up. I so on... So Which is actually interesting because I actually... I have a suspicion that I haven't confirmed yet that the DLC handgun is actually going to be better for the 100%. Interesting. That'd be interesting. Yeah, because you end up having to kill a lot more enemies, and... You do the bank side quest early on, and that handgun would be a yeah. I mean, I could, I could see mm -hmm. that. But yeah, on the PS3, you can erase all your data, but on the 360, you're not so lucky. You know how on the and I don't know if Konami or Vatra did this on purpose. I'm willing to bet it was an accident. I don't think anybody was this cunning or whatever. So. What happens? You know how on the 360, if you unlock an achievement, it stays forever tied to your account mm -hmm. and you can't reset it? What happens on the 360 version is if you use an unlock code for this game, it somehow ties itself to your Xbox account permanently. And there's no way to do it. Nobody's found a way to reset it. You can nuke everything off of your console and your gamer tag will remember what you chose. So if nice you movement. are like me and you picked the wrong one for speedruns when you got this game nine years ago, guess what? You've got to make a whole new account and go through it again. I have plenty, so I have, I'll say I have plenty of accounts <laughs> for downpour. Mm -hmm. So do I. Yep. I actually literally have <sighs> a Hotmail account that's just called <laughs> SHD Throwaway. <laughs> yep. Shrumbler, did I just see a cat tail? You sure cat did. Cat emotes in chat. Go, go, go. Yep, that is my wonderful little trash gremlin barn cat, <laughs> Mia. And she loves to hop oh, in my lap when I'm speed running. All right, so here, here comes the infamous locker. It's already going to be open because, like Enigma said, guess what? <laughs> I hate this game, dude. Okay, so right there, um, you, you you really want to pick up the nail gun first, so you. But it's not <laughs> as easy to so do. So you can holster it and then just pick up the the axe. Well, the axe is always the one you typically pick up first. You have to pick up the axe, drop it, then pick up the nail gun, holster the gun so you don't lose it, and then pick up the axe again. It's so silly. Yep. Oh, hello. Thank you. That actually works out really well. That doesn't happen very often, but it's always nice when it does. And on the Series X, I've been attacked by that screamer lady a few times. And Way more aggressive on the yeah, Series X. Say, when I, when I... Yeah, she almost always goes for the attack. But if you do manage to squeeze past her, you can avoid the police car here like this. I'd say on Series X, like nine times out of ten, you're gonna get the police car. It's just way harder. Yep. And that dude this always guy, stands in the door. Way, on the, uh, he, does he always do that on the Series yeah. X? Like always? It happens a you're lot. Every time. Kidding. Wow. Yeah. It's. Yeah, on Xbox One and 360, he'll just kind of stand in his little courtyard and stare at you while you run away. And then another thing too is, when I come to pull down the slider up ahead, I might have an enemy or two chasing me down yep. and 
beating the crap out of me while I, I just, try to climb a ladder. Yeah. That the happens fact that a you lot don't too. get a slowdown right there makes me so happy. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you still get it at this bush going to the hook. It, not as often, but it, it does like happen still. Pull down the lever. Pull on the ladder. Boop. Drop that. Pick up axe. Did you really ah, just pick that back yes. up? And you see the prisoner like, coming oh, into yep. the court. Oh, oh, there they are. That's a siren. Woo! Where'd you come from? Yeah, see? They just pop up on the Series X version. That's insane. Because everything's loading yeah, so I've... fast and smooth. There's like, oh, we got more places we can go. I've gotten screamed at while pulling down the ladder. And fun fact, if you get hit by a scream while you're in the middle of an animation, you will still get stunned, but it'll wait until you're done That's with the animation stupid. to stun you. All right, so this uh, window ledge cutscene is really stupid. If you hold forward right here to buff your input to move forward once you're in the room, game's going to turn you around, and then you're going to go back outside. It's... Yep, so you see yeah. me stutter step there. That's because I'm just flicking yep. the control stick repeatedly. Also, the uh, if you, when we do get to the load screens, if you pay attention to some of the hints, some of the hints aren't really hints. Game is trying to be subliminal and try to be uh, cool and edgy, but it's not really that cool or, or edgy. Yeah. They never loved you anyway. DJ Bobby Ricks. My goodness, that guy. <laughs> He's so pointless of a character. He's so pointless. Oh, another difference too. You know how every now and then there will be this siren yes. and the yes. little yes. chain link fence up ahead? It happens more often than not is on Series X. Dumb. <laughs> it makes me sick. Because nine. Yeah, that used to be like yeah. a one in Cause twenty nine times that chance. Because most, because usually when you go down yeah. there, she's screaming. Like that's usually what she does. Just haven't found a way out. Yeah. <laughs> also teleporting mailman is OP. Yeah. But um, uh, that was the uh, the other thing. So uh, we've been talking about like other categories, like hundred percent. This game actually like the spots where we just were, we could have gone anywhere in the town and find all these little side missions. Um, and that's what you have to do at hundred percent. There's like, well, how many side missions are there, Shrumbler? There's thirteen, fourteen technically if you count the uh, grave digging for the okay. surprise so, ending. And then there's fifty three okay. notes. So, you have to do certain things. Some of the quests you can't finish till you get to other parts of the town. But those are the, those are the things you have to do for 100%. But let's say you're just doing this casually, because this is one of the big things they wanted people to do casually. Uh, you do the quest, and guess what? You don't get anything good. You get, like, ammo or a med kit. It is so pointless, and all of the quests are so arbitrary to the main story. It, it's not even, like, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, there's only one that's worthwhile. The uh, the homeless guy in the subway who can give you fast track routes. That's that's it. But it's a four part side quest, and by the time you're done with it, you're done with. Yeah, you can't even yeah, finish you're, it you're like, until you get to yeah, the end. You can't finish it until you have to leave the area anyway. So like, what's the point of that? I don't know. There's, there's a lot of little things like right. that in this game. All right, we're back to Hello. gameplay. See if this worked. Can All right, no siren. So Hello? I think I found a way to consistently avoid that siren spawning. If you turn tight enough into the hallway and you stick to the left side, where you're actually looking into the courtyard, that seems like it prevents it from spawning. Time to test. Right now. Do it. Reset. Now. Do it. Let's watch cut. Yeah, because I've, I've been doing that a lot and I haven't been getting it lately, so unless I've just been getting lucky a lot, uh oh, you got work. caught by the patrol car, so we have to black out the screen real quick for no reason. Yep. Hope you guys like sirens, because you're gonna hear them a lot. Oh, oh it's yeah. Silent Hill. Wherever I think if you like you play Silent Hill, you have to be used to sirens, right? Yeah. I, I prefer my air raid esque storm sirens versus wee, wee, the wee, police wee, cars, wee, yeah. but I agree completely. <laughs> We're coming. One of them is a lot less annoying. We're coming up on our second spot of, a, of something this game loves to do for some weird reason. You see, he's going to go through this door here. 
but are we going to get a load screen then? No, but now we do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, why, why do we? Why? Remember we went through the window earlier. Didn't No load screen going through the window. Got to show you going through the window, but then halfway through the room, loading screen. This game loves that too. Those little mid-room loading screens. This is great. Uh, so, if you are paying attention to the story, I'm I'm very happy for you because if you, like, at least you're gonna get something out of this where you might not have to play this game ever. <laughs> you could just be like, I watched the playthrough of Downpour. I don't have to. I don't have to play the game now. There's not a lot of reasons to play this game unless you're us. Unless you want to. I think. I think everybody should play it at least once. I do believe. Play that. it once. You play it do. once to get an opinion. I think that's that. Form your own opinion. I also think I'm big on that. I don't ever rip on anybody who say they like it. Yep, uh, same here. Just play it. Play, play it yourself. Yeah, none of us really no. do that. We're not big gatekeeper people. But um, play. I mean, if I'm honest, I did I did enjoy this game when I first played it. I mean, that's fine. I do have to admit I mean, that. It's if you like the game, you like the game. That's that's awesome. To get you out of here. I just, I just, yeah. but the more you play it, the more, you the do. more I mean, you, you really do. Yes. <laughs> like, I gave up on it in the prison area because it just got outrageous. And we'll talk about it when we get there. But yeah. I think it took a while for me. I didn't immediately play this and was like, oh my God, what it is took, this? It took, it took a while. It took me three separate sit downs in the period of like a year just to be like, okay, I'm going to finish this game. And guess what? I never did until I picked up the speed run. I never finished this game because I always quit after Devil's Pit. I, I just, I just couldn't keep playing. And this is a long yes. game, casually as well. It is. It just doesn't stop. So keep that in mind too. I mean, to be fair, I can definitely see giving up on the game before the end of Devil's Pit, considering that's literally a third of the game, and you don't even get to the place that the game's supposed to be in. Do your homework, right? Also, uh, you got it, something that I do want to bring up. How many people here are Monkey Ball fans? This is going to seem weird, but hear me Wait out a on second. this. Where are you going with this? So, the other day I was playing this and I had an epiphany because I, I've been playing Rolled Out since that went into early access. And Murphy controls like Monkey Ball. A little bit. When you move the left stick to the left or right, the camera turns with him, and it makes this really weird off-putting control scheme. And if you want him to turn faster, you don't hold left or right, you hold down left or down right. Just like a monkey ball game. And it's it is absolutely that is crazy. An amazing comparison. I I, I was about to say I, I yeah. me personally not i really haven't played much monkey ball i believe you 100 percent. like that's crazy though worse. i was gonna say that is one of the most incredible comparisons i've hey, made hey. ever and i'm not a <laughs> i'm not a monkey ball player i haven't played really played one but that's hey that's do you why. like monkey ball uh, yeah man i play it sometimes do you like do, do you want to play soft hill downpour <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go go into a, a monkey ball speedrunner series. Like I tell you, if you like this game, you're gonna love Silent Hill Downpour. Get get, get on the. Can we get a monkey ball block at GDQ and Downpour be the last game in the block? <laughs> yeah, I would not be upset. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll put it on really late night because it's downpour. So we'll just we'll get everybody nice and comfortable for the late night hours. So Murphy's not gonna look at the TV next to him where there's obviously a spooky, scary in there. He's just gonna keep looking out in the distance like the wonderful human being he is. Also, these weird cuts, these weird uh, camera angle things that you're seeing, it makes the controls super wonky. You have to move in a very specific way. Yeah, actually making it through the door there is way harder than hey, it no, looked no, like. No, we that. It, and you, it's and you cannot run during those. Super easy to just get stuck on the edge of the door. Yeah, and you cannot run during those fixed camera spots. It is uh, <laughs> really strange. This fits the theme for some of the design decisions on this game. It's really it's strange. It's unique, for sure. Like <laughs> It is unique. That's probably a nicer term. It's very unique. Wow. 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 And it's always five hits mm -hmm. right there. With, I think with any melee weapon. Yes, any, it's five any, hits. it doesn't matter. All right, so we're. 
Only particular ones, though. You obviously can't take down right. boards yeah, with yeah, a yeah. wrench. Any weapon that the boards will clutch movement. Clutch movement. Clutch movement. Yeah. Yeah. Nailed. Perfect. That's a big skip right there. When you're going for best yep. times, that is a. That's probably about a 10, 15 second so, so, skip. So right there, right there. Uh, getting past the the screamer. Uh, you're wanting to like get into this little uh, hallway where like the, the the bookcases are, and you really want to cut the corner really really hard. Camera if you angle, don't, uh, there's a loud crashing noise. That loud crashing will actually stun Murphy for a little bit. So if you make it past uh, before it falls, uh, you do save about 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, by a little bit, he means that you stand there with your hands on your head for it's like, a whoa, full what was 10 that? to 15 oh, man. seconds. Oh, man, think about that for a bit. A... These safe codes are always the same, no matter what difficulty. Is it difficulty. Nine, so six, skip nine, a six, one? I don't remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's nine, six, one. I... Always stays the same. Yeah, I don't ever remember either. I just remember one left, five left, one right. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> hey, cutscene. That's the speedrun brain. So what's it gonna be? And then sometimes I accidentally hit the third one twice, but it still registers as complete. Because <laughs> it still lets you turn out for a little bit after you sort of a win -win situation, uh, right? trigger it correct state guys like i don't know they've got no business uh, someone asking weird. would 60 it's fps unique. with a emulator now, help this game i don't know if you want to emulate this game <laughs> well, i don't know man there have there have been some people uh do experimenting with this on the ps3 emulator i don't know what the name of like r ps RCPS3 or something. I, I'm not yeah. so big into the emulation yeah, scene. Same so here. Forget. But uh, eh, I, I don't know if anybody's tried 60 FPS on that. I know they can run it in 4K. So. Oh, so um, one thing I will say about that is if you can get this emulating at a full 60 FPS and keep it smooth and consistent. Of course you can. You will save about two minutes just like on the end game timer, just because the game penalizes you for lag. That's why you say 45 seconds in game time on the Series X versus the Xbox One. All right, we're back to gameplay now. Another another fixed camera angle scene here where you cannot run. Walking in these areas is such a pain. Oh, there, you saw my controls get stuck in a direction for a little yep, bit there. That, right there is a very common spot for that to happen. And if you just know this code, you can just put it in. Classic Silent Hill. If you just know the code, just keep going. Thankfully, it's not randomized mm -hmm. like certain. Will you get screamed the at? Here we go. Oh. No. Uh, wow, that's really lucky, yeah. honestly. For, for the longest time, I was testing that's like if throw, like overload. throwing the weapon at the screamer as it's trying to scream was quicker, and it just it's not. It's just, it's just like you're either gonna get screamed at or you're not. You're gonna save time or you're gonna lose time right there. That's just how it is. Oh, I yeah, have a little speed boost for chasing me speed, too, which is really good. Um, to get consistent, uh, he's gonna do two balance uh, parts right here. There's gonna be a, a shadow enemy. If that shadow enemy actually hits him, he's gonna keep the movement speed for uh, until he gets to this uh, next cutscene. If it doesn't attack, you kind of kind of lame. You lose a little bit of time. You do really want to get hit though, because you'll uh, move a lot quicker. Yep, the only time in the game we're getting hit is actually faster. As long as it only hits you once, I have, I have definitely been chain hit. Uh, it's happened to me too, for sure. Uh, yeah. That looks good. Yep, perfect. There we go. And he's gonna keep that movement speed all the way up to this elevator. What's crazy is uh, these other shadows usually don't attack. If they do, it's very, it's very rare. Well, this one right here loves to. Ooh but only if you're not having the speed boost. Yep, so the whole reason we couldn't be using the elevator is because there was a wheelchair in the way blocking the door. Those darn wheelchairs, every <laughs> Silent Hill, they have to be doing something. 
Alrighty, so that was the... This is the library, right? I can't remember if this is what it's called. I call it... The radio tower or something yeah. like that? The centennial, the centennial building, building. Something like that. That's right. I really hope that I hit the 18th floor button and not the second floor button. I did. Good. Here. Yeah, that's easy. I that's was just kind of matching do. there, and I saw the light go to All two. All right, here comes the most useless character in the game. Uh, his dialogue just makes no sense to me, and it, it just hurts my brain. And there's nothing... But there's rules you gotta There's nothing follow. wrong with the character itself. It's the fact that this is this is it, and they, they don't, don't really do, tell you anything. They don't do anything with them. They don't do anything like, with it. They, yeah. have, they have a good character, they have a good voice actor, and they just don't do anything with it. This is a long cutscene, mm -hmm. too. This is one of the longest. This is usually one of my get up and stretch breaks. Is that the but comic? Like, uh, this is the comic. And this does actually go a little more in depth into him. Oh, yeah. That comic actually does fill in a lot of plot holes. In this, uh, in and it's written by the same fellow who wrote the story for the game. So, yeah, it's very nice. I think it came out two and a half years after this game did. I think it came out in September 2014. Oh, weird time to release a comic. I got the message. Yeah, I'm about to say they released the, the comic was before the game release, right? Like you were supposed to be reading it and then play down for it. Or am I wrong? Mm, but if it's a song I, I, no, I think it came out I later. Couldn't say. I do know that it pretty much just confirms what everybody thought when they played this game, where there's really no point in you playing Murphy. This really should have been Anne. I can't, I can't find a date on it, but it says the comic book was originally published in 2015. Okay, so yeah, I mean the game came out in 2012, so, so makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But that might be the omnibus because it was originally published in four separate parts. Okay. And it is it is written by the same person that wrote the story for the game. A fellow named Tom Waltz okay. wrote the comic book. There's rules, man. You gotta follow the rules. Oh, Buck is back. Is it the cat? What is this place? It is the cat. Hey everybody. The cat's. <laughs> yep, she likes to sit on my lap and uh, try to bite my thumbs while I mash buttons on the controller. See, that is another very conducive to speed okay. running. A a very, that's another great thing about Silent Hill Downpour speed runs. A lot of cat time, good quality cat time you get with Silent Hill Downpour. No problem. Oh yeah, I could literally go up or get up and go grab a cup of coffee and come back and this cutscene would still See, be playing. That, and that's a lot of what Starwin's frustration is with this character. This is a long cutscene. And then after this, who you don't, you don't see them. They don't really, it's sad, man. They don't tell you anything. Yeah, sure. It's do bad games make good speedrunning games? They absolutely 100%. do. 100%. That's the only, if, 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 if it wasn't for speedruns, I'd never touch this game ever again. Thank you. Yeah, that's, I mean, you, if you watch Games Done Quick, there's a pretty good chance that you've seen Cuso Grande too. Like, there's a whole community over yep. speedrunning bad games, and it's yeah, it's real popular and it's a lot of fun. It's one of the best blocks on GDQ, the uh, the big events, and I've hosted I hosted a few of those blocks, and uh, the adrenaline and the energy can't can't beat those blocks, can't beat those at all. Yeah, it's pretty fun to run in, and I mean. At this point, I, I'd say I've learned, I don't know, maybe 20 speed runs at this point, and Homecoming is absolutely number one on that list. It is the most fun game or speed run that I Homecoming is fun. Darn good speed game. I, speaking of, uh, you know, awful block and stuff like that, for people who don't know, game submissions are opening up for GDQ. I think, I think they opened up today, actually. They opened up today, I'm pretty sure. Yep, they're open until April 11th. I think they open up in open about in an, an hour. hour. Got you. So anyone who is curious on joining any of the GDQ fun for Summer Games Done Quick, uh, we will be having that uh, opening up later today. And as well, that's open until April 11th. That's absolutely free to submit. No money. Uh, you can submit five games. Go for it. Submit. This is your chance. It's an online event. The worst they can say is no. Yeah, submits. So there's a health kit in that room that I usually grab, and 
I've stopped grabbing it because I realized that it just means that I have to scroll yep. one more spot when Same. I go to pour that, pour yep. that stuff. Uh, and I ac I've accidentally used it before, and it's just not. It doesn't feel good. No. You do, you do use yeah. the left bumper and the right bumpers right to move to the, the menu right, the item screen. You should be doing no. that because it'll automatically go to whatever. If you hit the right bumper, it'll go to the last item. You hit the left bumper. If you're on the right, it'll go all the way to the left. Try it. Um, I haven't been doing that either. Right. Wow. Uh, well, um, well, that's a secret okay. tech. Um, I mean, I, I'm just saying, if you watch, if if you watch my runs, you'll. You, I have, dude. I used to watch your stuff. <laughs> I learned on your runs. Yeah. I used to watch her. I used to watch her. Really yeah. I was like, how is he going through the menu so quick? Right bumper. Remember, uh, I just thought. I just assumed it was something I was right doing bumper, wrong. Left bumper. Do let Do us it. know when that uh, about that halfway point comes up. Yeah, so it's it's going to be at the very end of this other world segment. So we've still That's probably like 10, got about 10 minutes. Right. Just making sure so we let tech now. Yeah, it, it should be about yeah, it should be about at the 1 hour 18 right, minute cool. mark. So we have all these we are getting chased by the evil black hole. We also have all this stuff falling on you. If that stuff does fall on you, you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's also this little turn right here that uh, is very dangerous mm -hmm. because if you stay on the right hand side, the black hole can just instantly like, kill you at full health. Usually it doesn't do that. And no, right there for some reason, bam, it'll just take all your health away. Yep. I've had many runs uh, die to that before. Inverted controls. Yep. Wee! Even, even then, it still happens. Also, you'll see that I kind of go towards the corner of the door there because if you just touch the door's threshold, it warps you to the position you're supposed to be. And this might as well be a cutscene. <laughs> yep. So uh, enjoy watching me stand in the same spot for a good two minutes <laughs> now. But uh, all right. So it's been about an hour and 13 minutes in this run. How much of it has been cutscene? Mm. What, like 30? The beginning is more cutscene heavy than the ending, so I'd say probably about 40. I'm pretty sure we've done the math. I think it's an hour and a half that you're sitting there watching cutscenes. Or at least an hour and like an hour. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something like that. It's, it's, it's like an hour. It's 66, like 66 minutes. minutes yeah, it's a lot of minutes. Yeah. So we've got like, I think there's there's the the one before the mon like There's a lot of long cutscenes in the monastery yes. after this. But after that, I think it's pretty much it. Let's say there's one, there's not so. that many in the prison. Well, the one at the very end is another three minutes. Mm -hmm. but I think we get it. I think we get it pretty easily after the monastery. We get it pretty easy after the monastery. Uh, question in chat: When when did this game come out? 2012. 2012. Also, the year uh, Amy came out. Fantastic speed game. Yeah. For future reference, uh, for future reference, the uh, GDQ always puts the year of release on the screen at the very bottom. So if anybody else wonders about any future games, it is always at the bottom as well. Yep, and that's for every show, every I think even all, the mainline events do that too. Mhm. Mm yep. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait for everybody to see. Looks like how not really that old Juwan the Grudge is when that comes uh, up. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Looks like. Also, I just want to take a moment to geek out. Uh, we got we got our logo now. We got our Speedruns in the Crypt logo on the see, screen I did, now. I did I see, see the logo. The logo was really yeah, nice. Yeah, the artwork got done. It, clean. it was really well done. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I got I to gotta see the logos, and I got to have my input on that. Oh, hey, look. There's me, the G. We gave them a shout-out earlier. They ran Amy. Oh, where are they? Are they? Oh, there's in me, chat, the G. Me, oh, the G. Oh, there they are. Hi, me, the G. Thanks for picking up Amy. They beat my time. <laughs> Thanks for beating a guy's time. It's fun for me. Oh. Me, the G, if you want to take the Amy record, feel free. You can have it, and I will never go after it. If he takes it, you have to verify it. <laughs> uh, I might. Do it. <laughs> I'm not going to verify it. You have to do it. Oh, let's good. Say they, the, lunged at me. Let's that say might something, be like, a right good here, thing. you can get screamed at, and it's so annoying. But like you've like, I don't know because this is the Series X. I'm not sure if that's any different right there either with 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 the enemies. No, 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 no. That's 
That's the same. The part that's is, different is it, here is... It the is, clock? Yeah, this. They don't oh, despawn. Ooh, well, that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's not very Can fun. Can they chase you in here and where the clock room is? Oh, I, I don't think no. they go that far, no. Uh, no, but hey, they can oh, scream at it. you while you're running down just, the hallway. I just want to say that was a nice stop. That's actually where you can lose time. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the first first try that I've gotten in about five months. So that was also, really if you good. Get motion sickness is probably the worst spot in the whole game. Yeah. This. Yeah, it's also yes. the easiest one to fall off and die. So we might see it more than once. Who knows? Uh, oh, we we another yeah. question in chat is, uh, from I am the gamer. What is the most difficult trick in the speed run? Uh, playing the game. <laughs> Getting through it. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest part. I'll give a somewhat more serious answer. That's still not that serious. The hardest part is just running during. Oh, it, what? It the? puts you on the side <laughs> where the blade wasn't even there. What? You're gonna. Oh. I thought you were going to get hit again. I thought that second yeah, one was going to hit him. I was like, him. he's going to go? But the uh, the hardest part is just literally moving during the final boss fight because there's so many fixed camera angles where you have to move without <sighs> being able to see I always Murray have to do this. Murphy. Shout out to UFO Techie who likes to die at that spot a lot when you have to stop the hand, <laughs> the hands. I always got to shout out Techie. Love Techie. Wait, those are clocks? <laughs> also, my... Also, my movement is slowed right now because I got hit by that blade. I'd and say I that's, a, that's a something gets, that will so. happen when you do take enough damage in this game. You do lose movement speed. And your health is uh, depicted by the blood stains on Murphy's clothing. Yeah, so he just they, cleans his outfit. They were, they were going for the dead space thing where you see your health on the exactly, back, but yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not as well done as anything dead space did, so you kind of just have to... Kind of have to guess. In fairness, it had a better sliding section than Tomb Raider did. Yeah, until you touch the side and it just yeets you into the spikes for hey, no Tomb Raider reason. Did that, too. <laughs> that actually happened this morning too. I died twice in a run. I'm glad that you practiced this game, by the way. I, I, I ran hey, I hey. ran this the other night and I was on PB pace that's, like for, for that's the first two hours that's the, and it that's just the, that's the beauty hard. of this game it's like you don't have to de-rust much yeah you don't one of the interesting and, 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 and to respond to that to respond to that question what's the hardest thing like truthfully that there's just really not anything that difficult in this that's why it's a good one to kind of start with and get your feet wet on so I'm gonna go ahead and pause after this loading screen here and we can go ahead Sounds and take our good. break uh, just okay. as a heads up to anyone who may be wondering, uh, here at GDU Hotfix, uh, we do promote healthy gaming. Uh, although this mm -hmm. run is like a three-hour run, just on the show, we don't have to, you know, have the whole stress of that. So we do like to encourage not only our runners, but also you, the viewer, to be able to kind of stand up, stretch your legs, grab water. Uh, so we're actually going to be taking a uh, midstream break here so Schwemmler can stretch his legs. Um, you know, you don't want to die of blood clots or anything like that. That's, that'd be bad. Them out. That'd be bad. So anyway, we Big A Fury, you definitely should. We run are this game. going to Just be saying. right back very quick. Uh, if you have been enjoying uh, the GDU hotfix, um, any subs, gift subs, uh, prime subs, and bits are appreciated, and they do help GDQ during the interim between events. Uh, they help support the uh, the show. Uh, as well, SGDQ 2021 online is going to be from July 4th to J July 11th, and game submissions are open right now from March 31st to April 11th. Anyway, we're going to be right back really quick with more San Hodampur, and we'll be continuing where we left off. Be right back. Make sure you stand up and stretch. It's healthy. Or else. No, not or else. We don't want that to happen, though. So. You don't need to be, don't need to be bad. All right, we are all back. Uh, we've left off at the, uh, I'll just say at a uh, point in the game. I'm, I'm never really sure how this game goes. I don't know if you left off in a movie <laughs> or actual gameplay, but uh, Schmumbler, tell us more about it. And also, uh, just put us back oh. in on the time. Let's know we can start at the time once again. Oh, no, we're absolutely just going to go straight into <laughs> oh, a cutscene. <laughs> we, ha we have to just enjoy the pure nature of downpour. Well, we don't want anyone missing that. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll get back into it here in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Funny place to take a nap. <laughs> you know you could 
Yeah. Yeah. If you're not the kidding. wonders of the Series X. Got something for you. And you know, it still has that weird thing where everything has this weird aura of blurriness around it. No. But I think that mostly goes away if you play it on 4K, am I right? Um, like everything actually looked pretty clean on 4K. It looks pretty clean on 1080 as well. Uh, Enough of this shit. No, done. We're talking about Xbox One or the Series X. Series it X. looks, it all looks pretty, pretty sharp. Uh, I've Do run it on 4K. It? I, uh, I did it once or twice, but it looked pretty sharp. It did. You still don't get it only took yeah. two console generations oh. to get it to that point, but that I didn't see a lot of pop in or any want. weirdness with these things. As for me, yeah. I got mail to deliver. Goodbye. It also has the worst RNG, which I, I will say I do have a bit of a setup for that too. Accidental tech is always the best tech. That's also how we figured out that um, dropping the nail gun and picking it back up prevents you from getting knocked down during the boogeyman fight. Yeah, I think it was Nub that, uh, that came yes. up on that one. May I help you? I'm Murphy Pendleton. Oh, and I this is going to be day. another thing, too, where but I I'm not no going to touch anything oh, during this cutscene. Yes. Mr. Pendleton, because that means that when we load in after this next loading screen, the, the door will always be locate. on the left. Your presence is very welcome. If I uh, move, really quick, then uh, it's like 50-50, no, uh, whether it's going to be... Make sure you guys all check your OBS to make sure you're not muted. It was me. I'm not sure which one yeah, is muted, one was not muted. I am not muted. It was me. I'm not muted. It was me. All right, there you go. Hey, chat, I explained a really cool story about tech, and you're never going to hear it again. Oh, man. He said, hey, Ornid, run Amy again on the show. That's what he said. I heard they it. They muted me because the tech was too strong and it's only for certain ears. Oh yeah. I'll give you the long I'll give you the long story short. Uh, yeah, this is a the, yeah. Maxi yeah. Loves was doing a lore playthrough with the the, the big the act the, the two-handed axe and the nail gun. And he's the one that figured out that these boards that were about he to break in the monastery could be broken with the axe. If you used any but other axe, the axe the would the just break and the game forces you to get a specific he didn't axe. Much behind. There you go. So accidental, accidental tech happened, and there you what go. What happened here? Was there an earthquake? So real quick, can everybody hear Enigma? Hello. I'm unmuted on OBS. I'm same. Unmuted. I'm unmuted now. In the meantime, Hello. Chat room. Isn't it fun that we can do this during this game? It's great. I'm sure you'll find your visit. In also, I may have gotten distracted with all of this and uh, moved the control stick, so we'll we'll see where the camera is. Dude, pointed. I always get so confused after this cutscene, like which way I was supposed to go, like because both doors look the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's all right. Looks like we're good. Thank you. Also, there's four people, not three. No. No. <laughs> Five if you count Schmumbler's cat. Which one of us doesn't count? Uh, That's what I'm we have host, to figure so out I'm now. Me. Where'd she go? Yes, I agree. 
These, right, but yeah, yes. if this was anything but the pre-order DLC axe, then the axe would break as soon as Which we Which is so that. stupid because there's no other part in the game. It's like, it's nothing important either. Like you literally go to another room to get an axe. That's it. I'm not sure what their decision making was with that. They just decided, yeah. hey, you can't just cheat the system. Do you live here? And, and some, Sister and some of you with eagle eyes may have strangers. noticed that there was a cutscene that played oh. for an enemy that emerged it's behind Murphy, you. and you may be thinking to yourself, "Oh, your wow, well, we got a whole, we got a new enemy hey. type." No, it's the same enemy. They Maybe, just decided uh, to give it a cutscene. <laughs> so this door. it's not a new enemy. It's the yep. same enemy. They just give them cutscenes now. We've, we've literally seen all the enemies in the game. <laughs> no, we haven't. It's pretty cool car it's, you got there. It's, it's, it's great. Oh, I'm sorry. We yeah, haven't seen the juggernaut. That's exactly the same as the hey, other prisoners. Uh, they are featured on the it's European the uh, cover art of the Is game. They're dead? important. Yeah. The one time the European cover is worse than ours. Like what? I like the home. I, the European homecoming art is really good. Why would you say something like that? Because the Chinese cover art for homecoming Why is, is really good. Cover art? That's, that's so cool. Boogie, I like man. that. I'm about that. What are you talking about? Who said that? She's crying because she doesn't she like you, Murphy. She told me all about you. Oh, also for... Why is she crying? Just to throw this out there for Who no other she? reason than my own indulgence. Um, the clothing girl. that this little boy is wearing is sad, pretty much just a child's version of the clothes things. that Murphy is wearing. What so kind of it, the game tries to make you things think that this is basically, basically like Look, a child representation a of Murphy. And the girl is supposed to be a child representation monsters, of Ant. The boogeyman is just make believe, and there's nothing. Deep not stuff. Deepest and Schmumbler just did. Schmumbler just did a much better version of explaining that in the game too. So. But I'm not one of them. I'm not yeah, the there is no actual context in the no, game that lets you know that, other than All just what he's wearing. And it's not really a great comparison anyway, because Murphy compares him more to his son he Charlie. Do you do you do you know the rhyme? <laughs> the go away. If you say it we, enough, he I don't, but I, I at least know do how to read it off a piece of paper. <sighs> I can't no. wait. Like, oh, in my cutscene, I can't wait. Oh, can do that. I can't wait. You teach it to me. Ready for that one. Then I guess she's right. You so, um, the they, Kid, look at they me. say I'm boogeyman, but do they spell it, do they spell it boogeyman in the subtitles? Not okay. Yet. They do. Isn't it tendly always spelled boogeyman? That I don't even know. Of course, uh, like, yeah. boogeyman sounds oh, like he's like, you know, okay. like, disco. Uh, uh, I mean, you could use two Gs, I don't know. I'm gonna... Camera uh, turned a little too far too quickly there for me. The, the the movie that came out in 2005, Boogeyman, the horror movie, they used two O's. <laughs> did he, did he and, I dance think, and I think that's where my brain goes. What other Boogeyman do we have? I don't know. <laughs> Is, wasn't the Boogeyman in uh, Homecoming? Homecoming, yeah. yeah. Homecoming, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it was spelled the same way, like uh, the way yeah. it's here. Yeah, it's, it's spelled the same way. Here comes everyone's favorite part. <laughs> Murphy. Murphy. Uh, yes. Yes. Nope. 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 Yes. yes. About to die. Do About it. To die. Do it. Do Don't it. Do, do it. Okay. Don't do die. it. Oh, okay. That's fine. There are just some times where the leaning mechanic just pushes you so yeah. aggressively yeah. that you can be holding the exact opposite direction and still die. Yep. It's I've lost terrible. runs there too. Just. It's so silly. Anytime you have to balance is just the height of anxiety. But, uh, I think game. the only time you have to you have to do it one more time and that's in the prison. I think that's it though. Yep. Right in the start. Yep. All right. So uh, for the longest time, I didn't realize that you could actually like, you can burn that rope with the lighter if I'm not mistaken. Mm hmm. That's what oh, I'm saying. It, it's really that. silly. It, it gives you, but it gives you the option. <laughs> I think that's what you're supposed to do, but y you can just use the axe too. Mm. And the rope won't even break when you use the axe. It oh, just works. God. I mean, the game forced you to go get a specific axe. I mean, why would it make you do the lighter? It's so silly. All right. 
right, so... Here's a fun little bit of tech that doesn't actually save any time. This is also Nub Zombie. Two of the pages are torn out. Yep, you just drop the axe and it prevents the rhyme page from popping up in your face. You still have to wait for the door to open, though, yeah. which is why it doesn't save any time. Huh. But uh, dropping the axe when we actually do fight uh, the bogeyman, uh, that does save time. Even then, barely, though, because you still have to wait for the um, interaction trigger to pop up. I, I know we're long past the point, but it's really lucky that uh, Murphy was able to find clothing that exactly fits him. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, just laying on a bed. And it also happens to be exactly the same clothing that we see in all of his uh, flashbacks. Oh, I pulled out the lighter. Don't do it's that. It's right there. He's actually shooting a uh, one of the screamers with the uh, nail gun. Nail gun is not as powerful as the pistol, at least I don't think it is, but it just... Oh, yeah, you're but, back. Uh, it's mainly for right there to knock that uh, screamer down. The question about the nail right. gun, actually. Uh, does it have ammo? It does. Yes, it does. It just has an obscenely large clip of, like, 14 shots. So we're doing this puzzle here again. You play this on a harder puzzle difficulty. All it does is change the locations of the yep. items. That's, that's all it does. Well, you have to do all these in a specific order. I think there's, what, six or seven things to do hey, here? Sh hey, Schmumbler, try um. hitting the bumper. No, I'm just <laughs> telling you I, want you, to, I just want you to experience it. I just want you to feel, I want you to feel it. All right, the lever is all okay. the way to the right, so I'll do it here. I'm curious to see this. Okay, that time I was holding RB. Oh, you held it. You press. Oh, do you, you press it? Mash it. Damn. You, you press it when the menu comes up. Think of all the time save you could have had. Like that was like half a, a second. A second. The thing is, I remember. Okay, you know what? We're losing time here. I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out. See, I re I remember watching. Okay, okay, okay. I do see. you see? But you only moved one over. You I mean, not really. I only have two items, right, but I saw it move. Did it tra I'm about to say, I'm about to say, I'm about Wait, to say it didn't no, transition. No, no. Oh, no. I'm about to say it didn't transition. There we go. What did I forget? I must have forgotten Are to pull you a second saying? lever. Oh, you put the lever, you put the lever on, but you didn't pull it. Wait, 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 wait. You got to do the whole thing over, yeah. I think. Yeah, but I start with the light. Why isn't it letting oh, me? Oh, they pull the lever. Right, Maybe oh, no. pull the lever. I don't know. Just... Are you saying that's never happened before? Okay, yeah, now there we go. Uh, 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 no, uh, no. Uh, um, Hello? Uh -oh. Did we soft? We soft locked? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we soft locked. Move the move the what? spotlight. <laughs> no, the literally the only thing that inter lets me interact with it is this. Oh wait, what? Maybe pausing and unpausing did that? Right now. I was gonna say, uh, no. Yeah. <gasps> I'm pretty sure that's a nice oh. moment of uh. Oh my goodness! Who wants to say it? Trumble, you do it. That's definitely. Hey. Yay. Yay. <laughs> what? I have world? never yep. seen that either. I I have messed that up. And it, it usually lets me retry, but I've never seen yep. it. Not be, you're not able to pull the lever. I it don't. Gives you, right. It gives you the option. I don't really think quick, I messed it up. Really quick, very important question. Who has done dirtier on this show? Schmumbler right now or when I jinxed Enigma's uh, twin victim hallway? That twin victim hallway was scary. <laughs> Which one is yeah. worse? The twin victim hallway. <sighs> yeah. That twin. Because the twin victim hallway... <laughs> Schmumbler has the has the fortunate ability to to reload, and I almost died on that. <laughs> that one. was so. like almost heart stopping. Like it was very scary. And I and I ran that on another on another show recently, and it was so smooth. And I was just like, yeah, it's because Dysus wasn't here to jinx it. So there you go. I don't remember if Amy was. You got a free shout out on that so, one. Well, hey, <laughs> we take those. 
All right, I I did. You saved half a second after losing. <laughs> I, I know what I you did. I, I told happened. you, you put the lever in, but you didn't pull it. No, but I think I know why, why it's soft locked. Why? I think it's because I went into the menu immediately after I finished uh, hitting the gong. Okay. Like how sometimes, like with the axe, how if you immediately go into something else, it interrupts setting a trigger. Okay, that's silly. <laughs> I'm reviewing the tape right now to see if the lever was pulled. Also, did I do it again? Oh, you're good. I don't think... You're good. Yeah, okay. you're good now, yeah. Okay. I've lost the uh, world record pace a couple of times here just because I... Yeah. You turn off your brain because, like I said, the game's so easy and you just don't... You just... You, have, you don't hone in on what you're supposed to and... You... On the run where I got world record, I messed this puzzle No kidding. Up. I had to redo it. Yep. I had to redo it. I think it was really early on. I think I forgot to turn the crank on the record player, and so mm. I kind of got fortunate there. I only had to redo the first two things. The one I always mess up is the bells. Uh, I always pull the first bell of, it's one twice, time. Right. Deep boop, pop, pop, yeah, yep. that's right. Which, which completely throws you off because it only rechecks every fourth ring. So if you mess it up, unless you know exactly where you messed it up, you're. Does the game, like, freak out right here? Still? That's nope. so nice. No. So there, on, if you're not playing this on the Series X, there is a problem right for this area. There's always, like, an enemy, and it's trying to load this, this area that you just walked in the cabin. And uh, what can happen is, like, you walk into the cabin, and it won't let you access this, uh, this puzzle. Like the, the the blocks won't even be there, and you have to leave the cabin, and then go back in, and then it'll load. So we did all we did all this for a an eraser. Also, you play this on harder difficulty, uh, puzzle difficulty. It just makes more pieces on the puzzle. That's all. Riveting. Yep. So I did review the tape and uh, the lever was not pulled. And yes, you did pause the game right after the gong. And I think that is what caused the game to okay. freak out. I think the pause there when everything tried to reset in the area is what made Downpour not happy. For the record, I not think Starwin jinxed it. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. I didn't say anything. I said press, I said press right bumper I mean, and Honestly, that still lost less time than I lost to the elevator in Homecoming, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, for some reason, we can't wipe away this chalk with our hands. We needed that eraser, so... Why doesn't he use his shirt is my question. Like, I feel like that would work. Or, you know, there's also a giant tarp that you can collect in the corner of this room. Nah. He should use his head. Oh, pretty drawing. Let's go inside it. So, Downpour does a great job of teaching you life Blue lessons. Do, we can too. <laughs> because some people in some games will try to tell you that you need to keep pacing after your past and try to make amends, but we just, we let it go. Just go. But yeah, you're supposed to follow Charlie here, mm -hmm. but you can just sit here and it still ends in exactly the same amount of time. Charlie! Oh. He doesn't scream Charlie, does he? That's... <laughs> no. That's Not amazing. Unless he chases I actually didn't know that. That's really cool. So all these doors are going to magically open with giggles. That's pretty neat. And yep. we're gonna and here's the siren coming up that once took eight hits and this one took eight hits. Coming. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Here we go. More cutscenes. I love that. It's the best part of this. <laughs> Charlie was the original Jason. <laughs> oh, in Shattered Memories, in the first section, there's a press X to Cheryl. Oh yeah, press X. Yep. Yep. Cheryl. Cheryl. Sweetie. Cheryl, sweetie. 
the best part about shattered memories is when he goes to a locked door he just he does it he shakes his arms he's like nah <laughs> I love that. I don't know why I love that. That's the best of the not original games, Shattered yeah. Memories. Shattered, and then, like, when oh. you're uh, screaming, like, if he's screaming Cheryl's name and you go through the door, he'll be like, Cheryl! <laughs> just and just off. cut off. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, no, cool cutscene for the same enemy. Whereas Murphy in this game can, if you get it right, can have three different dialogue things going on at the same time with himself. He can, he can scream, he can heal, yeah. he can talk. It's amazing. All right, we, we are... Oh. Also, hitting hitting those boards again reminded me of something that I've been doing this entire run so far that nobody has noticed. But I actually wait a little bit before opening a door that's been blocked. Because if you don't, the door will still register as locked, even though it's open. That is a good point. And that also happens on the doors where you have to, I think, knock the lock off as well. If you try to go through too early, yeah, you're just gonna, just gonna pretend like it's still locked. So you have to wait a second. All right, so what's your setup? So once you kill that first siren, if you hold up on the, um, on the left stick and kind of like buffer left on the right stick, and just take that straight line to this first screamer, it's this screamer every time. And it's fairly consistent. Really? Near 100%. The only time it's not is if I end up hitting a bit of collision and take a little too long. And when that happens, I just go to the second one and it's usually so, that. So, to give people context, that, that, that room is the biggest RNG in the, in the game. Like, losing runs there is usually what happens because what the game wants you to do it wants you to take those one of those bodies go into an x-ray machine x-ray the body and see if the key isn't in that specific body well it's never in the first one ever so we always just uh fight the first one but then it's a 50 50 chance and schwumbler seems to have a setup which i've tried for hours back in the day trying to figure things out and that's good to know i mean Honestly, that's one of the big things that like turns me off to like going back to this game is that this that that room. Do you, you think? Line. Yeah, because if if you don't get that I on the second one, the then you end up losing yeah. at least thirty seconds just because the second encounter is two sirens and you're almost definitely gonna get screamed at by one and of them. What, do you think? Do you think that's a Series X thing or does that work across the board? Mm -mm. I did that on the Xbox One S as well. Yeah, that's that's really really good because like we were saying earlier There's not much room for improvement in this game like And lose and nope, but there's plenty of opportunity plenty of opportunities. like Earlier where he lost movement speed uh, because he took too much damage that is Very very important especially with uh, an area the 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 nightmare uh, Area that we're about to go into uh, there's a lot of the and that was I was going to say, the uh, spewing enemies that are on the wall, those things do a lot of damage. And that was actually the worst point to get caution mode speed because, well, that's the longest point between two health kits. And I didn't have any, so I just had to eat it, and that was probably a good 30-second yeah. time loss just from moving slightly slower. Oh yeah, here's the cutscene, oh, yeah. by the way, that we were talking about earlier. We, we've been grabbing little pieces of paper with the rhyme, the boogeyman rhyme on it. These are in our pocket. We, we could pull them out and read them at any time. But instead, we're just going to stand here watching Child Murphy get murdered. Desperately trying to remember it from the top of our head instead of just pulling it out and yeah. it. The thing we've been doing the last 30 minutes but we're just gonna remember. And, 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 it's, and it's shown, if you flip through sorry. Murphy's journal, like his book, I'm sorry. he's very well organized with his notes so and stuff. Sorry. You would think he would just be like, okay, let me look at my, nope. Very like, well organized. Yeah. Also, you know, the window Charlie. for that door was Charlie. not solid and he could have just reached in and unlocked the door himself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's no glass there. <laughs> he doesn't need a trick elbow to, to reach in there. Where's Charlie? Turn that doorknob. Jason, uh, Charlie. Please, Mr. Pendleton, you don't want to be here. Let one of my officers drive you back to the command center. I think we'll EBD03 in the boy? chat caught your mug. Is he uh, out there? Charlie! <laughs> Charlie! 
Yep. Somebody, uh... Got a represent. Got a nice bit of enigma Somebody merch. saw the mug. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Sam. <laughs> oh, this girl's model, this model, I hate this model so much. It's the it's hair. The I hair. want hair like it that. Hair it is floats hair. on her head, it man. <laughs> God, it does. Hey, I tell you what, I have the secret. Wait. I have the secret to Come have back. that hair. Just don't the shower for a week. <laughs> well, I have it's a pro. Your hair too can I'm, be solid I'm grease. Bald? So how does that work for me? Uh, Buy a wig. <laughs> get a wig and don't wash it for a week. And don't ever take it off, even when you're sleeping or showering. And dip it in your bacon. And well, don't shower. And dip though. it in your bacon Stop grease. Running. That's, that's awesome. Safe contributing factor why did you hurt him he didn't do anything to you it's in my brain forever i love i lo I'm love the desperation you. of murphy's like wait wait it's I not safe it. come back here it's not safe come with the axe wielding <laughs> maniac chasing you with instead blood all over his clothes sometimes i do actually have blood on my yeah, knee right see? Now. so we are coming up to a very i don't know who figured this out this little movement tech so we're going to be going down to this area with water and you're going to move really slow, but there's a spot where you're supposed to get a jump scare by an enemy. If you take, if you get, if you trigger that jump scare, you actually will move quicker. I don't know who came up with it, but um, I think Techie, I saw Techie do it. First. Okay, so, yeah, I, that's, that's where I saw, I it saw that and I was like, dude, that's so good. And it saves like maybe two or three seconds. It's, it's a little time save, but it's nice. Wait. I'm trying to help you. Yep, and I do it on the pipe. I know Enigma does it on the bed. Oh, wow. I you didn't know you could do it there. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's it's a lot more finicky on the pipe. But oh. since it's earlier, it does save a little more time than the bed does. Oh, here's our best friend, the black hole. Yep. So, uh, fun fact, so I'm not going to slow down here at all if I get hit, that's, that's actually good because, you know, I mentioned how caution speed slows you down, but if you're being chased by an enemy, it actually speeds you up. So, this is the one time where being hurt actually helps. Yeah. And I am going to push yep. this because otherwise I'm going to be getting black hole speed while opening a this door is and my that is tech. terrible. This is like the last bit of tech I found for this game was... Pulling that down so you don't get slowed by this black hole as much. Yeah, normally, if you don't push that thing down, then opening that door takes yeah. like five seconds. Uh, I don't know if I bumped that enough. Nope. Yep, so that's the downside. If you move too fast, then you outrun the girl and you get stuck on the door. And the black hole rubber bands. So if you don't slow down a little bit, then it just catches up to you immediately. It's time for some spikes, which I cannot remember the pattern. I, I, I'm not kidding. I always have like a note next to me when I run this game. I think, I think this is two two zero zero five. That sounds. It's two two five. That sounds right. Yeah. Yep. Never changes, thankfully. Also, if if you go fast enough, you can outrun that first set of spikes. But it's so that, dangerous. I've, I've died so many times. When I've had runs here. that were just bad and I'm like 20, 30 seconds behind, I'll YOLO it. And if it, if it, if it messes up there, then it's like, well, reset. Let's do another one. Good old med kits right here. Yep, I will this, need that. Oh, wow, that's a lot smoother. That's what, usually this part like goes to 10 FPS and just has a very bad time. But no, the Series X makes this whole cutscene right here really smooth. Well, it's smooth, uh, yeah, smoother. smoother. And this spot is a really good spot for you to see just how faster you are in an enemy encounter while you're injured. Because I am just it zooming. Is zooming. Normally, even when you're back here and you move to the side, you'll maybe still get hit. Yeah. But when you're in caution mode like this, like. I, I can be up here and be just fine. And it's always six ground pounds. Uh, I think the seventh one. Or maybe it's five and then six. One. I, I'm so used to muscle memory now. It's one of those. Make sure to line yourself up at the door so you can do the big funny. 
Oh, on my last run of this, I could not kill the Screamer to save. Oh, I didn't get the double yet. hit. I, I, I get the Screamer in front of me and she knocked me way down that hallway when uh, I went through that doorway on accident, pure accident. So I've lost runs here because of these spitting enemies because I didn't have any more med kits. Yeah, that's why I always grab that one because you can mm -hmm. get past that one without getting hit, but it's it almost never happens. And if you sit and wait, you end up having to sit there and wait for like five seconds for it to be completely done. It's just annoying. It's way better to just tank the hit and heal. Even though you do lose a little bit of time grabbing that health kit, well worth it. Yep. My, my brain would always be like, nah, I don't need to get the med kit, and then I'll instantly regret it every single time. We are coming up to the end of the Nightmare Monastery, and we're going to be uh, back in the good old town of Silent Hill. Well, actually, we have to fight. We're going to be fighting the Bogeyman, and then we'll be back in Silent Hill. Yep. But first... We're going to watch a four and a half minute cutscene so that we can do our 30 second boss fight with the Boogeyman. You really have to build up the uh, the suspense of the fight. Mm. They do a lot of building, yeah. let me tell you. That doesn't pay off. <laughs> we actually kill the Boogeyman before he even yep. becomes active. That's why I don't consider him a boss. He's just there. <laughs> He's just kind of there. Yeah, even if you don't have a gun, you can beat him up with a, a wrench or a, a crowbar. Do they? Uh, is, uh, I'm not sure because I really never played this on hard. Do they give you anything before the fight? Kind of like how they do for. Uh... Oh, the entire arena okay, is so that, that doesn't change. Okay. I mean, I don't know why it would change because easy and hard might as well be the same thing. Yeah. Hit the bell twice. Yeah. I love the noise the bells make. Also, small optimization. When I went down those stairs, you saw me kind of zigzag my way down so that I didn't get the drop-off animation where I get stuck for half a second like that. Yes, I, I, you can do that. There's one spot you can do that in uh, Devil's Pit. Time for, time for a blood shower. Yay, blood. All right. Are you not gonna? Are you not gonna do it? <laughs> go to the goat. Do blood, blood shower. Go get. Oh. Go turn red. Yay! Unless you're. I didn't even really? know you could do that. Unless to be you're honest. damaged. Oh no! All yeah. his health is gone now. Yeah, he has no health. If you have any, if you have any damage, it won't get uh, this color. Which is. What's? I, if I'm not mistaken, he keeps some of the color during the cutscene. This next cutscene? Yes, the neck the next big one, yes, he still he still has that shade of red. Hey. I'd say we're all we're yeah, all learning are. things today. <laughs> if it's useful or not, we are learning things. I know <laughs> I am. I didn't I didn't know that bumper menu thing. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that, that's a game changer. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I should have posted it in the Discord. Hey guys, you can move yeah. the menu with the bumper. Because I was, I would watch your record run at the end when you're putting all the things in the uh, scales. I guess. Like, I, I'm like. Yeah, when you have to go past like I'm six like, things did, to get to this shift. How did shift? you go that quick? Why like, and I, I, I'm the type of person <laughs> that just tries to figure it out instead of Thank ask, and I just never did. <laughs> and then, then I ended up I getting the record, and I just, I quit playing it after I got the record. I got the world record and never touched it again With for like five respect. minutes. So. I, I never really thought about do. it again. That's, and like that's why I already I told you, look at that nice shade of red on Murphy. I buried my son years ago. I understand. Actually, give me two seconds. I'm gonna grab my downpour case. I'm gonna look at the manual. I want to see if it actually says it in Shall the manual. You? If you can move <laughs> in the menu. I, I honestly don't even know. Schmumbler, what is your world record? The chat is asking. What's your time? Whew. It's two thirty-four uh, something. It is. 
Yep, 234.10. Yeah, 234.10 on the Xbox Series X. Before that, on the Xbox One, I had a 236. 36? I want to say I beat Queen by two seconds. Okay, Queen's time is 236.08, so I think you had 236.06. 06, okay. Yeah, that mine is 236.39, and Starwin got 236.37, we're, we're the top four right now. Yeah. So uh, if anybody wants an almost free second place, just uh, pick yeah. up a Series X. Hey, I'm, wor I'm down working on it, all right? I'm working on it. I just don't do it consistently. I do it once every few weeks as a joke. That, that one run I did right before I took my stream break, I don't know what was going on, but I was about 30, 40 seconds ahead of pace until about, till we got to the prison. And we'll talk about the the weirdness that happens in the prison now, because there's also some enemy uh, behavior changes that happen in the prison with the Series X. Yeah. <laughs> I have discovered the, 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 the hard one. God, that juggernaut. It is bonkers. <laughs> you really feel the pain getting that extra time yep. save. It Everything is just so much more aggressive, and their aggro lasts so much longer, too. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Charlie was still gone. How, how, we had house in the trees in the chat say GG question mark. Oh no. Oh no. We're not even close. We still got like another, what, 45, 45 minutes of this? Maybe? Roughly mm -hmm. about, I think, yeah. I, th I think so. <laughs> Oh no. We get comfortable. We've got a, a little bit longer to go. Oh yeah, I just realized as well. It's officially midnight. Happy April Fools. I, uh, I live in central United States. I have an hour left. I live on the West Coast, but we you, we tie things on uh, EST and GDQ. I'm I am on the East Coast, so that is correct. Yeah. Yay! Also, uh, I, it just goes to show how much I care about Sound Hell Downpour. I can't find I the case, <laughs> so I, 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 I can't <laughs> look. I might have the case in my room, actually. Oh, hold on, let me see. Let's save. I think I have Sounds three copies. Right. Oh, I got the case. Yeah, flip through the manual and see if it says anything about the bumper just being able to move in the menu. <laughs> oh, no, it's Homecoming I have three copies of. Downpour, I just have two. <laughs> it just has two. All right. That's the only... Yeah, PS, PS3 yeah, and that's Xbox. Yeah, there's only two you can have. They, they did not put a PC version out. Well, Homecoming, I have two Xbox versions for some Sorry. reason. Yeah, one of them has an actual case. The other one's just the disc. Who knows how that ended up happening, but... but hey, you know, all those, all those prices are, are jacking up in price. You never know. Uh, I mean, I also have the PC version, so <laughs> that is its own... That Little price always stays jacked. Paradise. Yeah, that, all right, so here we go. We're on, we're on Boogie Man. We're going to do the little skip Charlie, here. Charlie! Yeah, skip. AKA just shoot just it until shoot it's it dead. And then drop it. Don't bop it, but drop it. And then as soon as the enemy, boom, we pick it up at the same time, done. Boom. Perfect. Yep, that's the fight. And somehow Murphy can swing this big hammer. <laughs> <laughs> He choked up on it like a baseball bat. By the way, shout out to Major League Baseball. Opening day is tomorrow. Go Braves. Uh, but he choked up on the bat, and, uh, you know, he was able to get a little bit more behind his swing. Um, I know a little bit about baseball, so. I just noticed my Silent Hill Downpour case has a copy of NHL 12 in it. That's a better game. I don't think I've ever yeah, played just... NHL 12. Where, where did my Downpour copy go? I think you just found your next speed run, Mr. Hey. Dysis. NHL 12. All right. Well, because like I don't have a case for my Xbox version, but I have for the PS3 version. But I uh, apparently I don't have the disc. I, I don't know where it went. All right, let's see here. I'm sorry. Where did I find it in here? Game controls? I would say game controls. I think that's the only place you could see. Hey, that you know what? That's a free world record. I don't see any speed runs for an NHL 12. <laughs> really? <laughs> so if you really? Make up a category. Really? You got big it. You went. <laughs> yeah, I'm on right now. That's the 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, you, you said bumpers, right? Yeah, it's the left bumper, right bumper. Okay, so L1, look back, see what's behind Murphy. Uh, R1, uh, run. 
<laughs> Dude, NHL 94 has a robust community. Oh my god. <laughs> it's I'm worrying about the world of NHL here now. <laughs> see, see Jeb Lucas in chat. You know, I saw that board. NHL 91. Oh my, this is hilarious. <laughs> There's a hole for there, there's Love a hole for later <laughs> to get into. All uh, right, I think we're back to gameplay now. We're we're moving uh, in the sewers, which is another area where if you're not running on a straight line in these these tunnels, you'll get stuck on the sides because game is good. <laughs> Murphy is very wide. Murphy's about twice as wide as he looks. Also, everybody's favorite ladder coming oh, out. I don't know. The one, the one that screwed me up on my last run, I, I did the thing where I held the controller the, the wrong way on purpose, and uh, it didn't, it didn't work. Okay, we made <laughs> it. It put me back down the ladder. Oh, so, sc so scary. You know, it seems so simple, but that is legitimately is, over 20 seconds gone stressful. if you accidentally go it back down. It is stressful. It is. So this is the last time we're going to be in the streets of Silent Hill. This is where you're supposed to, I guess, finish up your side quests if you got them. And yep. This is the point where we finally get access to the fishing rod to get the homeless man to open up the last set of tunnels. But guess what? We don't do that. <laughs> we just want to be done. We want to go to the prison yep. uh, because what we got that. Uh, if you guys saw in that cutscene. Uh, we got the boat key that DJ Bobby Ricks was talking about. So we actually got keys to his boat. And, and we figured out the and rules that and we boat followed goes them. fast, real fast. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see very clearly that we are the only ones on board. <laughs> no, There's uh, no one else there. Nope. There's nope. nowhere to hide. Not a possibility in the slightest that anyone could come aboard with us. Optimal, optimal speed right here. So, what? Wait, what? Wait, oh, what? you didn't know that? I, no, I, I popped up there a lot That's quicker like, yeah, than I usually yeah. do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Usually I kind of get stuck on the edge of it for about three seconds until it pops Cheating. me up. Yep, no, no real threats here. It's good to see that this area really doesn't change on the Series X as well. Just pretty casual. Yeah, for the most part, stuff doesn't even really spawn here often either. Like, even playing casually, you can just kind of run around in circles here for a good long while and nothing will really show up. All right, so let's get on this boat by ourselves with nobody else on it, obviously. Yep. Full view of the boat right here. Nobody there. Ah, time to ride off into the sunset. We're done. G G. Uh, except magic happens. In, 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 in. Okay, so we we still have a full view of the boat right here. You even get a front view. Look how happy he is. Very content. As the sun loads in the background. <laughs> Where were you? Oh hey, there's. Where did you come hand. from? Did you really think it could end like this? You were that character Everything that fell off that cliff right and then just sat on the ground and did nothing? You think going and then she got attacked by spooky things? We're not She's going back! To wayside. What are you saying? Again! Turn the boat around. Are you out of your mind? We're free! When we reach the nice opposite shore, percent. I'll go one <laughs> yes. way, you can go the other. It's that easy. We've got unfinished business, you and I. I have no idea. <laughs> she was, uh, about. Uh, here's Honestly, the theory. She was under the boat with a snorkel the whole no time. In hell I'm going back. But then it she would be wet, right? Request. I mean, well, that makes sense. She's been through hell. 
I like to think that she's just incredibly acrobatic given her training, and she just flung herself off like this section like up the in the corner where the here that you see. Up there. She's just sprinting, sprinting in the bed. Yeah, like that little ledge where the house is and just lands. She did the, she did the Assassin's Creed thing. She got a good vantage point. She just fell on the boat. It'll never let us go until we finish what we started. Good old leap of faith. You think the blood uh, is tattooed on her face? I, I, I mean, it, I got it. I mean, it might as well be. You might as well shoot yeah. me. Glitchy gut said she clicked through some to get here. That, that's a that's a different game. That's Al Shepard's territory. You think you think you, oh, however, that is that is a good time to think about the possibility of Ann and Alex, you know, How's it going, uh, uh, crossing paths you're gonna be leaving us soon. in their own little worlds. How would that go? What do you want, Sewell? Well, that'll never happen because she wouldn't let us go across the lake. Yeah, we were we were probably going to Shepherd's Glen. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> we were going right. Yeah, we're on our way. You're a real Because I mean, dude, uh, you know, uh, Homecoming's got boats too. Can you, can so you imagine? Can you imagine? We were like, we were like two minutes from the ultimate crossing. We were close. Can you imagine like Murphy crossing uh, the lake and then he passes Wheeler on the boat carrying L and, and Alex? I would lose my mind, dude. It's the crossover we need. That would have been so good. It's the crossover we oh, needed. Oh no! I want this game now. Details, cupcake. Wait, 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 wait. Like Is before. this the same be boat? Because it's I mean, it a police be. boat. It There's could be. be a little like, it looks tonight. Almost the same. You're gonna have our hands full, so no one's gonna notice when we'll you head down to the showers. Maybe they had a br big there. brain moment Might there, and we just never noticed. noticed. Maybe we have not been giving them the credit that they deserve. What comes next? Oh man. In case. Oh, this is something that bothered me that I didn't notice until the other day. But you see the back of Murphy's no prison jumpsuit. It says RS-273. Okay, first off, they call him say, by some other number when they call his prisoner name for the transfer, which but the, annoys uh, me to no end. But the other thing, I'll take care RS of stands for Ryle State. That's the prison he's at at the start. No other prisoner has RS. It's all different letters on everybody else's suit. Inconsistencies. Are you trying to say that they may not have paid that much attention to what they were doing? <laughs> but dumb tis. I heard it. I love I love the story of how he ends up here too. He led officers on a car chase. Eight hours. He had the magic car that never ran out of gas or electricity. Eight hours. Eight hours down the eastern seaboard. Mm -hmm. And this is this is like nine years ago. Uh, oh. So you you can tell that this game wanted to take inspiration from uh, Stephen King because Royal State is in Maine, so we're in the northeast. All right, getting out of this uh, cell is really annoying. Not on the Series X. That's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> yep. No invisible wall to stop us. Because the now. reason that happens is because the game's still loading. Like it's it, and right, right yep. there, you just get to walk through it. If, I, if you were on any other system, you'd have to wait like three seconds. I might be able to cross over on this. Yep. All right, this is the final uh, balance beam uh, segment. So. Say goodbye. It is, and it's still annoying, especially when you get to the joint. If you're leaning the wrong way when you hit that joint, you just come to a it's dead stop. It's really, really uh, uh, scary, uh, especially when you're on record pace. When you have to do like these balance beam segments, it's 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 easy, but man, it's so frustrating just to just lose a run to this. And it not be your and, and it not be your fault, yep. like just because the game is like, eh, hey, you're already too far gone, you can't go back. All right, we also have a different jumpsuit on, and that's actually uh, kind of. Uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool if you want to think about it. There's a safe in here, and you don't know the combination, and the combination is actually the numbers on Murphy's back, so. That's something, right? Yeah. yeah. And and more about the stuff on his back to further my frustrations. Now the letters are OP for Overlook Penitentiary. 
the name of the prison again. So, you know, mm. that still really gets me. <laughs> also, fun fact: there's a little jump scare here that makes you step back. You can just swing your axe. I did. No way! I didn't know that. My God! That's at least for like that's two a, seconds. I say that's two seconds. Jeez! That's two seconds. I didn't know that either. That's cool. Hey, only two seconds away off world record. Oh, hey, another thing too. This room makes you step back. You can swing through it. <laughs> but, but there's a caveat on that one. When you come back, you will still take the step oh, back and you cross the track. Oh, that's hilarious. So it makes sure it, it, makes sure it gets I'm kind of excited to see that. <laughs> yeah, I think you could swing through it a second time, but I mean, then it's just not worth it. So you might as well just do it for the laughs. Mm. <laughs> Someone say. Hey, I just, I just found this out this morning, okay? <laughs> hey, there's Murphy. Looking at Murphy. Low textured Murphy. Yeah, no joke. I, I swung my axe just, well, the same way that I found the bug strat in Homecoming. I, I fat fingered it. And, and that it worked. is a very, very important piece of tech in Homecoming. <sighs> yep. Saves three to five seconds. Yep, there you go. <laughs> there's awesome. the little That's stuff. Amazing. Good stuff. I love that there's a check in there for that. That no matter when you do that, it, it gets. Hey, you. look, a new enemy. He's a big boy. That's the same enemy, just. Bold. Hey, see you later, <laughs> nerd. <laughs> just bye bye. <laughs> oh yeah, you can stop lock your game right here with the lock. Um, there's uh, it's happened to me before where I've hit the lock off and it won't let me open the door. I actually soft locked myself on this QTE earlier today because I did the quick time event too fast and it just never registered that I finished it. Hey, grab that. Oh. Yeah, so I never died, but I just had this guy choking me for who knows how long. All right, this yep. is on a timer, so good time to pick up a couple health kits. There's a shotgun, but you can also just pick up the shotgun on the elevator, so I'm going to leave it because it means one less thing for me to pick up going through the security oh, gate. And the head. timer is the same every time, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Also, a yeah. uh, flashing light warning, just very, very, very light flashing, just, just a heads up. Yeah. Push the button through the glass, no big deal. Also, you'll see that I did not turn off the electricity here. I I'm gonna kind of yellow it. Oh, all right. I like doing I like doing this, but that's Oops. that's what ah. usually happens. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yep. oh. Yep. yep. Electricity. Yep. Oh, boy. That's okay. But you say that was shocking. You know, you don't have to say things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it put yeah. me all the way back here. Ooh, I really thought it would nope. keep me in the security I've, room. I've done what you've done before just to save time, and nope, it's just my head. Well, you know, the funny thing is I usually actually get that. But, you know, dice is... the setting and all, I have to, I have to entertain. Listen. And that time I didn't even make it through the first time. Dice is don't let, don't let Starwin get you down. Your humor is very electrifying tonight. <laughs> Well, I, Enigma, am the shock master. Starwin just doesn't oh, yeah. like when I bring the thunder. All I'm saying <laughs> is, is every any time there's been a, a some kind of pun recently and Enigma says something, I have to bring up wrestling. I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to need all of you all to stop before I take punitive action. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we will let you talk currently. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. I can't Thank think of you. anything else. We have some really charged puns here today. <laughs> I can just see Starwin's face right now. He's got that he's got that red face, steam's coming out of his ears. Oh my goodness. Did I turn off? Okay, I did. I did this time. There we go. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. 
See, all these puns, they make you go, oh. Mm. Oh, I picked up the shotgun. Uh, let's get rid of that. You're, you're listening to ACDC? <laughs> <laughs> Starwin, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done, Starwin. I'm done. Sorry. I mean, puns here are a static part of the show. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, all right. I said I was done. I haven't been booed yet, so I feel good. <laughs> I think the old one was the worst, <laughs> not gonna lie. Like, the old one was incredibly stretching it. <laughs> hey, I see some good ones in chat. The ones that we haven't made. Starwin, do you want to ground us? <laughs> He hasn't responded at a rap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so this is this is a fun part right here. We got enemies on a leash. And oh. Oh yeah, the keypad, I'm looking at the wrong feed. So, oh yeah, that keypad right there. The code was 2345. If you play that on a higher difficulty, guess what the uh, code is? It actually changes. It's 22345. Mmm. Really tough there. This is the part of the game where I lost it because you have to do a license plate puzzle to figure out that code. And this game breaks the rules of puzzles in Silent Hill games and enemies actively attack you infinitely while you're trying to figure out the code. This is... Anybody that's an Oh My Queen fan, this is the time for the emotes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh... This is the part of the game where I was just, I had it. I was like, no, I cannot believe I am getting attacked by enemies while I'm trying to figure out the code to this puzzle. <laughs> I agree. I'm seeing some good chat lines. Too. Oh, yeah? Nice. There's a lot. Yeah. Hello, uh, nice. I think we are actually approaching nearish the end so far. Yeah, probably about 20 minutes. All right. So. I know we're going to get that portal soon, so about uh, maybe five minutes we're going to pull up and Oh, yeah, we'll we'll let you know. All right. We'll make it a five-minute pull through the game. Yeah, for those of you that may have... Oh, yeah, there's, there's right. plenty of time yeah. for that. For anybody that may have jumped in late, uh, we're going to do a poll to determine Anne Cunningham's fate at the end here. Uh, so just get ready for that. But we'll know. We'll know when it when it's time. All right. I don't have a clock running, so um, this is exactly 30 seconds from swiping that second card. I guess I'm just gonna try to guess is it. 30. I thought it was 25. It's. Or from, oh, is it from the first card or the second card? The second one. I've always counted 25. Um, I'm not really counting it right. I'll have to look at that. You have the world record, so I defer to you. Maybe I've been counting. Oh, there it goes. Did it go? Those enemies behave very differently on the Series X, uh, and, and this one here in this hallway, also different. Yeah, so, um, I'll be honest, I didn't even know that this one existed until I played it on the Series X, because it just, it never comes after you at all. But, uh, there's, there's this guy here, and, uh, he, he just kind of, yeah. Yeah, yep, just kind of, he, he actually catches up to you on any previous console. It has not, we haven't seen that. And now, you see her. Yeah, a lot of times he completely catches up to you and knocks you on the ground. Okay, I'm back. Welcome oh, back. Gone. Oh, hey, you missed the new enemy Oh, no, I've been here. Yet. I just haven't... I've been I've been channeling my, my inner rage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, channeling, I get that one. Oh, crap, I did do that, did I? Wow. <laughs> you did? Yeah, you, you're in it now. All right, yeah. cool. You know, if you didn't have so much resistance to these puns, you could actually enjoy We actually them. stopped while you were in... Like, we stopped. You brought it back. Yeah, we were done. I'm, I'm leaving here. Yeah. Oh. No, you stay right oh, here. Oh, no. I'm amped up. See? You're doing this to yourself. 
All right, so we have another Red Void chase session. This part is actually really fun. I actually enjoy this chase segment. Ah, okay, now I remember what this is. I would, except this is where my world record pace run died today. What happened? Did you get hit by a, a guillotine? Uh, I was waiting uh, for yes. the last guillotine, but I managed to be standing just close yeah, enough I'm to still get getting hit. Getting hit by the guillotines here is really bad because you have the uh, the black hole behind you, and it just you're so slow. It's insane. Yep and the guillotine will literally push you mm -hmm. into the black hole and make you lose even more time. Yeah, I was on a world record pace and then on this split, I lost about a Sounds minute about and right. a half. And we have more pins and needles. Yes, it must say, don't go. <laughs> it would have been close. It would have been close. No, no, no. It, it would have hit me. I've, I've gone through that plenty of times to know that definitely would have hit me. It would have been like one spike in my shoulder, but... Oh, you, <laughs> do I like to call reaction? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we made it. Oh my goodness. I was like, oh, he's still going. Oh, he's still going. Oh, that was no. spooky. Oh, this, this, this part's really rough too. This uh, elevator. Yeah. A lot can oh, go I wrong like the, here. I think if this part is like playing like the Ninja Turtles arcade game, like you have like the elevator segments where you have to fight a bunch of foot soldiers before you get to the final boss? Yeah, so... Yeah, so the elevator is supposed to stop at these levels and stay there until you kill the enemies. But turns out if you just hit them once, it counts them as yep. dead, even if they're still alive, and you can just keep going. Sometimes. Depends on how direct of a hit you get. Hey, see ya. <laughs> I will be very proud of myself if I get through this without getting stuck. I have you. Achoo. Achoo. Yeah. That looks good. Are you going to open? Nope. No. No. Nope. You didn't count this one, and you just shot behind you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, You're doing I such a great job. I vividly remember of a lore playthrough. It's, it's, it's oh, still the, Oh, wow. Okay. That guy's still up. Cool. He blocked that. He's the only one that That's I got a like direct he... hit on. <laughs> this is the uh, the elevator section, huh? Yeah, but one more one more floor. Yeah, yeah. That's always the level that. Yes, that is definitely the most difficult level. Th there was a lore playthrough back in the day that I was watching that had Nub Zombie, and he uh, fired a gun, and the bullet shot uh, behind him. <laughs> and killed something. It was really weird. Wow. Okay, Murphy. Thank you so much for your impeccable aim. Oh, hey, I got both of them in one shot. Okay. Well, um, I'm glad to know that you take my criticism directly to heart, Murphy. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I just wish that you would listen a little sooner. That, that thought was directly on the siren, too. That... We are coming up to the last little bit. We're going to have... Uh, uh, we're going to lose all of our stuff again because, you know, just kind of like how it was in the very beginning of the game, there was a bridge that broke. Eh, same thing's going to happen again. Yeah. Before that, though, we oh, get yeah, to play the with dials. dials. First. That's right. And... Yep and try to run through narrow hallways without getting stuck while we can't see because it's during a cutscene. Also, if you come over to the left mm -hmm. here, sometimes the bridge will get stuck a little higher and you'll have to drop off instead of just yep, walking yep. over like that. 
Sadly, we have nothing to throw across the, the gap this time. We're just gonna lose. We're just no. gonna lose everything. Not this time. <clears throat> this game really enjoys taking everything away from you. Yeah, it also takes great pleasure in your pain of accidentally pressing the right trigger to hit something and accidentally throwing your very important environmental interacting tool out of uh, the world. And also likes to eat your inputs right there. I think we're going to talk about taking things away. Yeah, that too. Yeah. More so on the first one. Whoa! Crazy! It's like you flipped the world upside down. <laughs> All right, let's see how many times I get stuck here. That's right, you ugly bastards. I'm gonna make that. Uh, good. Yes. Barely. Yep. So the only way that you can actually capture that guy on the first cycle is to move to the panel during the cutscene. But how do you get that one? Do you have to go underground? Do you have to dig a hole? No, we flip, we go upside down. We. <laughs> I hate that you have to turn the world upside down just it to push the spot. Immediately, and go, immediately back. go back. We are coming up to a spot with these very scary blades where uh, I've lost a couple of runs here too. Ooh. You did that the needle, which is hard to do. So really quick, uh, Schmumbler, uh, since we are approaching nearish the end of the run, do you have any shoutouts you want to give? Oh, absolutely. The two biggest ones are the ones that are right here talking with me. Uh, Enigma and Starwin both run this game plenty, and, you know, they're both really good speedrunners in their own rights and their own respective games as well. Uh, definitely would not be near as good a runner as I am if it wasn't for the constant pushing and competition that I get from these Respect. two guys. And Oh My Queen as well. As well, I think uh, Oh My Queen uh, would have been here, but uh, for her, it's, uh, uh, you know... A little bit, yeah. a little bit different time. It's like yeah. five in the morning right now yeah. for her. I did reach out to her uh, in regards to this as well, but uh, yeah, it's like terrible time where she's at. Like, the show is kind of hard to get it's, sometimes with a lot of uh, It's not guests. conventional yet. It's not conventional for where she yeah. is. So we want to say hi to all my queen. We'll give a nice wave. Hi, queen. Yeah. And then, of course, too, you know, we, we do have the Silent Hill speedrunning Discord. You can find the link to join that in any of the Silent Hill speedrun.com pages. And, you know, it's it's been a really welcoming community that's always willing to give a helping hand when you're trying to learn Spe something. Speedrun yeah. Silent Hill games are fun. Do it again. Every, every, everybody's wide, it's man. It's insane. Oof. That one hit. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I'm, I'll swing too early and miss the door. I have to swing three more times. Yeah. It's. If it wasn't for the free time save and the loading screens, like. This is a much harder run on the uh, Series X. Adventure. Yeah. And it, it's it's weird because it's it's more consistent. The enemies behave more consistently, but they're harder. That guy decided to go in the light. Okay. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Oh, I'm really glad I got you out of that. Oh, he almost did a double double fist attack. All right, so sometimes the, the, these guys aren't dead. Some sometimes they some of them may die, some of them may not. So right here, this this crank takes forever. So your main thing you want to do is knock down all three guys and then start doing the crank. If you get good RNG, you might be able to open it. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes they get up real quick and they're really annoying. So you got good one here. Yep, and there is quite literally nope. nothing you can do to change it. So here we go. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the black hole segments because we have one more. And then after this, we'll be at the final boss fight. And this one combines two of my favorite things, the black hole and guillotines. 
and command grabs. That too. And the Three really boys. great things. I'd, oh, yeah. I'd say uh, Ignisus right now, maybe yeah. go ahead and start that yeah, pull. Yeah, uh, we can get a pull started up. Yeah, we'll, yeah be good. Uh, we have tech to do that. Uh, the poll will be, do you want to uh, save or kill, essentially? I think that's the decision we'll make. Yep. Just the word yep. save or kill. And I, I saw a really good question in the chat asking if it's possible to no-hit this game. Uh, no, actually it's not. There, first <laughs> off, there are lots of times where you just absolutely cannot avoid taking damage yep. from the black hole. But also in the monastery, when you've gotten all of the rhyme parts and you're heading back to the kid, mm -hmm. that uh, weeping bat that drops from the ceiling is a guaranteed hit, except for one <laughs> time that it didn't hit it. It didn't hit me. And nobody has reproduced and, and it. Can, I cannot figure out why. I don't know what happened different. It's just... Does, uh, does the series... go on save. Do you have uh, the... On the Series X, do these ever despawn over here? I would assume not. It did these. I don't think so. It did despawn. What, the well, guillotines? Okay. Oh, yeah. it did? Yeah, I, I feel like it happens mostly if you get hit okay. by that spinning guy. Because anytime I sit and wait for it to so, do its thing, Schmumbler, real they're quick. always moving. Uh, please use the bumpers on this next part. Yeah. Just so you can, yeah, yeah. Just, just <laughs> yeah. so you can experience I it. <laughs> I, I plan to. Oh, it doesn't go. Oh, it didn't go all the way though. It just went directly to the one that it needed to. That is unbelievable. And then this one, you... God, that I makes that so much yeah. nicer. Yeah, it's. Uh... So what do you do? Just like feather the button and not you hold just it. Press it. it. No, you just you just tap say, it when the menu load, is press up. Button. <laughs> all right. Let's see if I can make the first cycle onto this platform. Looks like yes, because it took an extra little while for it to go up. May oh, no. no. There's no way. No. There's no way. Oh, that sucks. This is the final boss. This uh, the, the guy in the wheelchair. You may have seen him throughout the run. He kind of cameo. He, he makes a bunch of cameos. Like, uh, he's in the window at the very one of the very beginning cutscenes. Um, he's on the monitor in the the centennial centennial building. He was peeking out the window when you yeah. first meet Howard Blackwood, too. But the whole fight is just going to be Schwumbler going to these panels and pulling out these, like, basically, think of it like life support. Uh, what's really cool is uh, he's, uh, when it's showing the cutscene of the Edda, the boss, like, looks like, like he's taking damage or he's getting hurt, Schwumbler's actually able to move. And if you move properly, you can actually start moving to the next segment, uh, a lot earlier than you than than usual, and if you, and it is really it, it, no, hard. No, this is a huge part of the uh, part of the run where you can save a lot of time. So, this is actually the one camera angle that you can see uh, Schmuller start moving. You should be able to see him move. Yep, he's already long gone. Oh, no, I got stuck there. And for the uninitiated, you may be hearing us talk about this being the final boss fight, but it will not be time no. at the end. There's still some more cutscenes, and then we have to make the final decision uh, that the poll has just ended on. Save. And it looks like it looks like we're saving. Amy. It was close though, 54. percent Very close. Hey, I voted to save. So does this one uh, witch, uh, witch, the screamer, spawn? Every now and then, it, okay. it just depends. That's a, like you saw, yeah, she was see, there, that's but the so door crazy. didn't open. Like some of the, some of these things that are still the same. Oh, get out of my way! Everybody wanting their spot on the PDQ <laughs> spotlight. <laughs> Gotta put them in their place. Uh, yeah, not bad. This isn't bad. He what, shot what the did you shot, shoot at? He Nothing. shot the ground. <laughs> well, I'm really glad he didn't throw his chairs at me while I was. <laughs> so really that. quick, when you say that pulling the plugs here is kind of like how Konami pulled the plug on the Silent Hill series. Absolutely, this is Silent Hill's lifeblood just getting pulled right out. Right. I think I you. This. Yeah, I think you're good. I don't think. Oh no! Still right there. 
that one is the hardest one. It's such a weird angle. And oh, of he course shot you the wrong shot way. across the hallway. Okay. Murphy. 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 Quit doing Murphy. it. Now you're reloading so <laughs> I can't grab it. No. Here comes wow chairs. Wait, 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 wait. He hit me with the chairs and I didn't um, let go yeah, of the you don't, Yeah, you don't break it. Yeah. I swear I've been yeah, booted it's out just of random, it. Because it, it's never happened to me. It's never happened to me either. That's why sometimes I'll just take the hit. And that's the fight. Not, not time yet. Yep. So. <clears throat> this is where the end yes, game which is really stops, though. Yeah. Like, there's, no, like you don't lose complete control of the game yet. Like, it, it's so I think insane. I can actually explain why. Uh, one of the endings you can get, you just don't have to move. So in theory, the run actually, you know, could end there. I mean, this could be the last action you do in theory. That is true. If you stand there, yeah, and yeah. can kill you. Yeah, and that so. is one of the endings. Uh, How could you? Not really done, uh, but I know it could be done. He was a good man. That is a good point. A I good tend to forget that. Man. What's that? Hey, maybe there's the there's leaderboard change. We could have we could have we could have made that. Do we have to redo strong. this poll now? <laughs> no, we're all good. We're all good. Okay. <laughs> Save and kill are the traditional ones, and time ends on it, those. The, to be fair, That's to be fair, to it, it it takes a That's while. Right. So we would have been sitting there for quite a while. <laughs> done. Oh yeah, especially on easy mode, we would literally be here for another yeah, ten minutes. <laughs> we got Jew or something next. We can't keep him waiting. So. I don't want to talk too much about that oh, yet, but we'll see what happens. Jeez. Yeah, we'll get there. This thing is kicking off some. How many gallons of blood was that? It was a lot of blood, right? Clear. It was. It was what are you uh, doing here? He was a big geese, a big dude. Who <laughs> told me to meet him here? You haven't seen him. Oh yeah, this is also the only Silent <laughs> Hill where whether you did the bad thing or not changes depending on the ending you get. You okay? So this whole game, you the idea so is that we What's that you got there? may or What's may not have killed you? Anne's father. This isn't what and I based on what you, you do in the game, about, you may or may not have killed him. <laughs> Tell him Murph. That's great. What's going on? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you answer the radio? Should have learned to keep your big fucking right mouth now, shut. Right now we, well, now my friend we still Murphy's aren't sure. But when we save Murphy, and the game will decide that we did this. not Come kill on, Frank. Murphy, you gonna keep your end of the bargain or not? <laughs> Do it, you Murphy. son of a bitch! No. Instead, we just get blamed for it, and Sewell does the dirty work for us. Yeah, Sewell is kind of the no. overarching bad guy in the in the game. One thing I will give this yeah. game credit for is the surprise ending is okay. actually kind of fun. We actually, uh, oh, I love the we might be able to show that off if Schwarmler would like to. Even prisoners. Right. We did talk Even about that. Yeah, um, I can't, yeah, I can't load a save because this game ah. auto saves. For the <laughs> but, yeah. but I do have, I do have the cutscene saved oh, as a video file on my computer. Uh, we can find a way you we can show understand. that off, but we'll see. The, yeah, that, that's something I think we may have neglected to mention. It's 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 extra as an entry, uh, a barrier to entry to speedrunning this. You can't really practice a lot of sections because they you cannot manually save anything in this game. It just auto saves, and they only provide five auto save slots. So practicing things in this game nearly impossible, and that is another barrier to entry. Yep, the only way to practice is to do full no resets. Every time I looked at him. You know what also, I a shout out to the people that do more than three runs in one stream. Just kidding. I'm just saying, like, I, I do. Wh I'm just saying, I do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like three complete runs. It, it, like, my brain is done after one, but if I have to do two, I'll do two. I'll tell you what, I did this one time, and I will never do it again, but doing more than one 100% run in a row. That sounds awful. That's I don't rough. even want to think about that. But I do. Right, time to mash Y. Let's see. You, you got moved. Are we going to stay still? Uh, you're definitely going to try to move. And you still went straight. You can lose record right here. You can lose record right here, too. <laughs> You absolutely yeah, can. Right. Yep. Leave time is coming up. Done yep, it time's before. Up. It'll yep. be right when he picks the, yeah. You'll see me raise my hammer, and then as soon as I make the choice, it'll be time.
No, don't do it. And it's time. Very nice. Uh, all right, a not sub bad. 240 with all that nonsense with the, with the music puzzle. Pretty nice. <laughs> Yeah, and we died. We died. <laughs> yeah, man. We died. We died. The, oh, yeah, the electricity thing in the prison. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Hey. I, I like this. This is actually... Uh, someone asked to check, is this the bad ending? I think this is, like, no. one of the best endings you can get. I think this is, like, the best ending. This... Yeah, this is yeah, ending A. So this is the, quote-unquote, best. Yeah, they, they, um, they no. did not... Did, they didn't bother to come up with titles for the endings or just letters. Jesus, so you have ending A, B, C, D, D, D. I'm like, I'm like uh, Homecoming where they like made subtle no uh, nods to like Sound Hill 2 and stuff. I serve to you like yeah. a yeah. fucking we'll enjoy the ending scoops, though. So you um, and then the if you don't want to watch the surprise ending, I recommend you go check out Schmumbler. Yeah, you can show it off on his end. No, I gotta go uh, in there screen. and finish the bastard off for you. Uh, speaking of which, Schmumbler, uh, people want to find you anywhere. Where can they find you? Murphy? Run. All right, yeah, you can find me on twitch.tv slash mumbler, S-H-M-U-M-B-L-E-R. Uh, I also have been recently so uploading a lot of my PBs and world records to YouTube as well. So we got an um, officer down. Ten double if zero, C block, you enjoyed this, I mean, it's do this. a lot of the same, uh, just kind of Who's chill stream, on that try to keep it comfy. If you want to stop by, I'd be glad to have you. Roger also, that. I just want to say as well, uh, this is live. This is a live run. No, having another live run. It is live. No, but chat here. is pre recorded. That's right. That is right. Yeah. Sleeping spider. Yes. Thank you for uh, putting your timer on for the chat. Exactly. Your bot timer. <laughs> We're going to enjoy the ending here. It was a fun run. Definitely. Uh, I, I'd say this is this is a good Sun Hill game. I would say that. Yeah, for for this specific day on the calendar, sure. Hey, it's the yeah. best Sound Hill game that came out in 2012. I have no comment. I'm, mean, you know, I'm right. I, my fault, died, Are man. you trying to say that this game is better Pendleton. than HD Collection and Book of I'm Memories? So sorry. Are you saying that? I bought HD Collection. I forgive you. Nice. <laughs> so did I. I. I bought I bought I, this game and HD Collection day one. I'm pretty sure everyone bought HD Collection hoping it was going to be something amazing. Yeah, and uh, and I was yeah. so upset I had to make a YouTube video about oh, it. Oh, the here origins are, so. of Enigma. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, <laughs> where it all started. And here I am, nine years old. So much like how Anne got on that boat, we magically are not in prison anymore. <laughs> this is Cunningham. Just kind of on the shore. I think we're on the sunny shore of where we fought the boogeyman that one time. I, that I, maybe I, this I, is my yep. This is where also the shore. Well, no. So, Over. yes, but no. So the boogeyman fight takes place in the coastline right behind Murphy's house. But asset-wise, it's exactly the same as this coastline, which is next to the bus Negative. crash. What if they crash next to Murphy's house? Over. That is way too convenient. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, Either it's the exact same coastline, but it's it's different places. So yeah, that's the ending. Uh, and let's uh, Murphy leave. And uh, just to make a mention to the Silent Hill uh, movies, uh, the ending of the second one, you guys remember they show a bus driving off and that was supposed to be uh, mm -hmm. it, we were the third movie was supposed to be Downpour, which of course we never got, but uh, that was a. Uh, a blessing, honestly. Well, maybe that's. Uh... Yeah, they also had Travis Grady driving by in a truck. Too, <laughs> He's like, "Hey guys, I'm Travis Grady." And I think Sean Bean is wearing Henry's outfit from Silent Hill 4 in the very last scene. Oh. Well. Yeah, and then he also says that he's gonna go back to Silent Hill to look for his wife, referencing yeah. too. All right. It's it's like it's like ping pong references in that uh, that ending. Well, I do all thank you all for being here. Uh, do you want thank, thank you for having us. For? Uh, before we go, you have anything else you guys want to add in? Uh, no, not really. Run Silent yeah. Hill games. Join the Discord. They're we have fun. a great community. Very no welcoming. drama. It's awesome. Yeah, no joke. If you guys want to join in on any of these games, like I'm always glad to give a helping hand. And I know a lot of the other people in the Silent Hill community are the same. So jump on in. Give it a try. It's easy to start. All right. Play spooky games. Uh, That's it. 
That being said, uh, be, be great to each other. Be good uh, people. Be good, be people. good people. Well, anyway, we're going to go on over to a break while we set up our uh, next and final game of uh, today's episode. Uh, we have another good game in score for you, and hope you all enjoy it. Uh, we'll talk more about that once we're back from the break. But before that, I just want to say that uh, SGDQ 2021 Online is going to be from July 4th to July 11th. And game submissions are currently open. Uh, I believe now they're currently open. So if you do want to sign up, it's going to be open until the 11th, so make sure you get those in. Um, as well, we're going to be right back really quick. So make sure you stand up, stretch your legs, and we'll be right back. All right, we are back. Silent Hill Downpour was a massive game. A lot of time throughout there. Uh, a true downpour of speed running when you think about it. it. Gives you a lot of a lot of content up front. A lot of movies. I, I like going to the movies. I always like uh, different movies and horror movies in general. And since we had, you know got the feeling of a movie in the last run, why not bring the feeling of a movie into the next run? As well, I hope that uh, by showing downpour on this show that none of you are left with a grudge against us. Because uh, that kind of leads into our next game here. Uh, our next game is going to be Juon the Grudge, a game released on the Nintendo Wii. And it's, uh, all I can really say is you have to watch it to see it. Anyway, Juon the Grudge will be done by Jewhorse, so take it away. Why? Why do you want me to play this game? <laughs> Why? I don't like this game. Okay, hi. <laughs> Welcome to Juon the Grudge. The Haunted House Simulator game uh, on the Wii! Uh, my name is Juho or Ju Horse. Um, okay, I want to talk about this for a bit. Context. I was here for uh, one of Dice's show. I mean, yeah, one of Dice's uh, show. Uh, I ran Devotion, uh, and I quote this. It's one of the best walking simulator horror games of all time. For me. Keep that in mind. Walking horror... Walking Simulator Horror Game. Right. This game is the same thing. It's the worst ho Walking Simulator Horror <laughs> Game of all time. I'm I'm not joking. I don't. Want, uh, I don't know why you wanted me to play this game. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, the, today's theme is good games. Also, I made Star Wars One Downpour. Would you say this is worse or better than <laughs> uh, uh, Amy? I made, I made Star Wars One Amy. No. Amy, sorry. <laughs> I made Schmumbler run downpour. Oh yeah, by the way, my, com is worse? my commentary is all the other people from downpour. Cause, uh, <laughs> cause why not, Hi. I guess. Ju Juho was just like, hey guys, I don't have commentary. Do you guys just want to all do it? And we're like, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, you are you are done with I invite us. runners onto the show. I, I allow them to bring on commentary if they want, and we can get that organized ahead of time. Because Juho why not? Because why not, right? Okay, so, uh, a few things right now. One. I'm reclining all the way to my chair right now. Like I'm, I'm leaning mostly mo like all the way back right here. But um, there are a few reasons why. One, um, from my the remote to the motion sensor is actually really sensitive if I sit sit upright. So I I had to lean like quite far so I could play this game. Two, this is the pinnacle of speed running. This is the little pinnacle of speed running right here. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna start it off. Um, you guys choose male or female? Um, male. Let's go male. All right. And uh, uh, pick I'll the zodiac. Ask, uh, hold on. For the next one, I have I wanted to say this. Hey, uh, uh, Richard. Richard, what's your zodiac sign? There you go. That works. Mm. I'll ask our tech. Switch it here. <laughs> we'll see. Dun, 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 dun. We'll let them pick the zodiac. Yeah. What's your zodiac? Pick cancer. Okay. Well, okay. Cool. All right, we're gonna play male with cancer. Fun fact: the the, the zodiac sign don't don't really do anything at all. But no, yeah, they show sure. up on the screen. Yeah, it just shows up and that's it. But yeah, um, we're gonna play four scenarios or four episodes. This is gonna be the first one. Uh, we are in the um factory. Uh, time is gonna start in three, two, one, go. All right. So right now I'm gonna be spamming my plus button right here is to skip cutscene. The cutscenes are really boring. You don't you do not want to know about the cutscenes anyways. But we are gonna play uh the first character which is called Erica. Um, uh, you, you wanna yep. talk about it? Well, I'm just gonna say fun fact: if you don't mash, it's it's ridiculous. Like it's oh, a wow. long cutscene and it does and the game doesn't tell you you can do this. Oh yeah, yeah. So basically, if you finish. 
um, the game, right? Or you finish the whole four episodes, you can delete the file and then replay the file, and then you can technically uh, skip the cutscene. Also, we see uh, our first antagonist, which is Hoshio. Uh, it, it's it's from the um, the original movie. So later on, you will see like. Uh, a few of the original characters like Kayako and Hoshio. Mm -hmm. uh, fun f uh, also, this game also walks in like 0.5 kilometers per hour, so like I don't understand why. It's a horror g haunted house simulator, so like whatever. Don't so you also move by holding down the B button? Yes! Yes, that's right. I hold down using the B button. Also, uh, there are a few like quirky stuff. When you shake the remote, you can actually quick turn or 180. Yeah. Also, you're gonna so see Hoshio just reappear right there. Oh, dang. This, this game was. This game. It, it's in the name of the game. This is a haunted house simulator. Yeah. This game is made to be played with friends. To you know, it's like like a courage test. Uh, this game also allows you to do actually play this with a second player. The second player can actually trigger jump scares in the game on another remote. The thing is though, it's the same jump scares over and over and over again. It only, it, 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 it gets really old really fast. Um, but as this is happening right now, um, uh, Juho's actually being uh, judged by the game of how scared he's being. Oh no, and don't talk about I can't, it. We'll show that off when we get there. <laughs> we'll, I know we'll, what you're we'll talking get, about. We'll get us to it. Okay. There's gonna be a couple uh, of meters. Okay, I'll go uh, here. Uh, I need to shake my remote. There you go. <laughs> So the, also, arrow, yeah. the arrow showing left and right is indicating to shake the Wii mode. Yeah. Also, I've got I've got a couple things to add to real quick. Go. Oh. So, first off, this game hits a little too close to home because the cutscene that we skipped at the start is you're actually on a walk with your dog and your dog just decides to run off into this cursed warehouse for some reason and you chase after it. I have a dog. I also have a wife. Her name's Erica. So this hits just a little too close to home. <laughs> you know, Stumbler, I thought you were going in an entirely different direction. I thought you were going to say Juho skipped a cutscene, so you immediately felt threatened because Downpour doesn't have cutscene skips. Nah. Uh, <laughs> the other thing I was yeah. going to say, though, the other thing I was going to say, though, is this game came out oh, after... Oh, wow! Morning. They actually gave just me the saying. random jump scare. So you can get that jump scare, like, randomly. You you can't really get... Uh, you can also not get the, the jump scare as well, so... That's cool. So that's a that's that's a cool thing. All right. I would like to add as well for a commentator thing. Uh, I, I sped ran this game at one point. And I, I ran it for like eight hours and then I couldn't feel my wrist for the rest of the day. Are you kidding me? I couldn't run for like what? I couldn't I couldn't run this for more than like four hours. Like honestly, we also, I just feel so bored. Very important everybody. question. Very important question. You are playing on the Wii. Yeah. Are you using the strap? I am. All right, you're being responsible. Oh, Remember, see, responsible. Derek, you have the gripper on. You have the gripper. Yeah, Ooh. you have the gripper. I don't have that. I only have the. You're gonna uh, break your strap. TV, Ooh. Juho. <laughs> this this is one of those games that really could have benefited from Wii Motion Plus, but guess what? <laughs> it did yeah. not. It, I, it does not take it. Here, here's the thing as well. I don't know why I'm speedrunning this. This game is so slow. I, I don't know why <laughs> is this a speedrun even. <laughs> Well, you're running, and it's speed. Because yeah, everything, everything can have a speed run. The thing about this game is that, like, the only thing you have to do is just go from point A to point B at, like, a slow pace, pick up items, uh, do the items, do do whatever stuff, and then die. That's, that's the whole scenario. You just die. Yeah, that's a good... Yeah. So, yeah. for anyone who yeah, is yeah. not familiar with uh, Ju on the Grudge, Ju actually raises a strong point, because it's kind of weird that they made a game off of it, because... The whole it plot makes no of the sense. movie The Grudge is you moved into a house, the wrong house, so you're going to die. Yeah. And then you don't live. Like, it, it, like it's all about like whatever extreme act of violence happened in that location. Right. That's what causes the curse to happen. It's like, why is this happening in some random factory? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna compare it to one game. So, uh, I'm gonna co compare this to uh, Calling right now. So, uh, Calling is oh, another Wii, yeah. Calling's another Wii game. Uh, let me pick up this key. So, Calling came out after Juon, and uh, in this case, Juon, you actually walk really slow. And the way how Juon works is that, like, when you're walking, you have to press the B button at the back of the remote. So, uh, yep. yeah, and then when, when you're moving, you have to, like, as you can see, like, I'm moving the Wiimote as well. So, you have to move, like, left and right on the Wiimote. Um, on Calling, however, you have the nunchuck. So, you use the nunchuck, mm -hmm. and you actually move so quickly 
that game makes yep. me more happier. <laughs> it makes me happier than this one. And I feel like I want to speedrun calling sooner or later, but like, for now I have calling this one. Is... Uh, I I know the the calling run and it's not too bad. It's definitely way better than this. Yeah, it's so good because you can you can totally run in that game as well. You don't have to like use the remote and just press B and just walk towards like <laughs> at a slow pace. Yeah, like, like he's hold he's holding B and then he's m moving the camera with the Wii mode. So yeah. it's really unnatural feeling. Yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> Uh, another thing, you might have been noticing a there's a little meter in the bottom left. That is his batteries oh, yeah. for the flashlight. So you can keep grabbing batteries and whatnot, but if you run out of flashlight battery, you die. And guess what? <laughs> you got to start over. Yeah. So uh, again and again. Right. And Megma, how do you feel about this game so far? I am enthralled. And I, I remember actually now when you ran that that one night right when, when you mentioned the sore I, for some reason i was like oh yeah i remember when he did that the wii game yeah so i i am i am just observing i'll be the first to admit i am not oh, yeah. the most knowledgeable <laughs> but i always like showing these games off like this especially in, like this kind of setting here comes exactly. a cell phone a little calling reference <laughs> Drew, are you gonna there you go are you gonna answer the phone it's on the wii mode yep it's a calling reference that's a one missed call reference keep keep them going <laughs> All right, I need to try to turn because it's really hard for me to turn. There you go. So it's really sensitive for some reason. So like whenever like I'm trying to move my remote, um, sometimes it will go like 360 slowly. Sometimes it doesn't move. I don't know why. I I don't know what's with the controls for this game as well. It's just ho horrendous, in my opinion. I really wish we could be playing uh, the supersonic racing theme from Sonic R during this whole game. <laughs> I do want to know that I actually do enjoy this game. Like, I, I don't know what it's about, like, or why I enjoy it's it. It's all right. about it just kind of cozy. The, it's the, different. The one it's, thing it's about this game is just the walking speed. It makes me sleep for some reason. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, okay, this game, if you're, like, pretty much, like, a scaredy cat or something, you, you definitely would want to pick up this game. It's, like, kind of, like, alright taste. But for me, as a horror speedrunner, I feel like I want to sleep for some reason. Did you say a horse speedrunner or a horror speedrunner? Horror speed Well, really, runner. both are... Both horror are and a horse speedrunner, I guess. Both are right. <laughs> <laughs> also, I do have to wonder, Joe, how did you place your, like, wee, like, sensor bar thing? Oh, like, I feel okay. Like so is yours above your TV or it's below above your TV? my is ab above my monitor. That's why I had the same thing. Yeah. So the, oh, the thing God. about it I is that because like I, if I sit up right, right, I <laughs> the 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 sensor bar doesn't really register my remote, so I had to go all the way back, and then that's why it's one of the reasons why I'm reclining my chair as well. Oh, yeah. So I also have my sensor bar above the monitor, mm -hmm. but I have it mounted to the wall with command strips. Uh, so <laughs> here's nice. the thing as well. So there are these like uh, quick time events right now, so you have to do like these kind of quick time events. If you miss one of these quick time events, you get insta kill, and you have to restart the game all over again, Wait, or you have to restart that... the level all over again. Is that faster? You can just turn around there immediately, can you? But you can turn. You can just turn around yeah. right there. You don't need. You don't oh, need to go really? to the stairs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize but How did you beat my time not knowing that? <laughs> no, I think, no, 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 I think I, no, I think I actually watched uh, Swordfish's run, and Swordfish's run is also done like that, if I'm not mistaken. How did he beat my time without knowing that? <laughs> how many speedrunners do we have on the show that have road records without knowing important strats? I'm just Me. saying, there's I a lot of people come on the show who beat my times. Oh, yeah. I had, I had record in Dino Crisis not knowing there was a cutscene skip. Jesus. Oh yeah, here, here comes the doggy. Oh, that's it. Gone. No. Yeah. Uh, a little Episode spoiler. Cleared. Yeah, a, a, a little spoiler. Uh, you actually play as Erica if you get 100% of this game. Like later on, uh, there is like a fifth episode that you get that that you go into the Juon house as Erica. All right, there's a there's a sissy meter and there's a scale <laughs> meter. You don't have a sissy meter at all. So how the sissy meter works is that. If you go really slow in this game, you get more CC meter. If you get if you go really fast in this game, you get like less CC meter or no CC meter. I don't know why. I thought it was the reverse, but no. 
you get more sissy meter if you like how do you say if you actually like, like stand take still longer yeah in the game okay i think sure. the game's trying to tell you that if you don't face your fear that you're a sissy i think that's yeah. the game's trying to say with the sissy yeah. meter so if right. you take too long it, it counts against you yeah. So this next area so is like a hospital, which is, I, funny enough, another location that's in calling with a phone that rings. This whole area is just calling. It's Didn't really funny. Did before the calling, though? Yes, I, I just think it's funny. I sort of play the calling, so don't spoil that game for me. Yeah, uh, I played that game already. Uh, can I turn, please? Thank you. Oh, you know, I really like that spare battery that looked... Oddly, like a flashlight. It is a flashlight. Well, you, you, you Something got flashlight. mentioned in chat. Uh, uh, Crispy K mentioned, "Are your shoulders buff from speed running on the Wii?" And you know what? I actually thinking about this because my shoulders been hurting like hell lately. I think it'd be traced back to when I grinded this no, game for eight hours. No, no. All right. Um, here I think this little, game may have damaged my here body. It comes a little speedrun trick. You rub the bed with the flashlight and then you get out. That way you don't really see a, a quick time event, I think. <laughs> you rub, or, you rub the bed you, with the flashlight. Yeah, you and then rub you the bed with the flashlight. Out, that's it. And then you get out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to move like this. There we go. This is better for me. Uh, sometimes quick turning and then just moving towards a, a direction is actually, uh, I I guess consistent for me and like easier rather than just like trying to move towards like the direction that you want to go. Uh, it's so bad. I'm gonna try to make oh. it in a diagonal angle like this, and then the corner. There you go. So unlike the first uh, uh, episode, uh, the first episode's pretty linear. This one's a little, little. Uh, it kind of, kind of goes off the rails a little bit. Uh, I know me personally. When I played play this game casually with friends, uh, we were on this level for a little bit. Not so side question, Starwin. You know a lot about this game. When are you gonna speed run it? <laughs> I already know the run. I don't decide. Just decide not to do it. But we need another runner on the board. No. We only no, have six no, runners my, on the. It, it, it's, just like, it, it, it's like that and calling. Like I know the run for calling, and I have a run for calling. I just never submitted the time. Hey, I've got my copy sitting right here. Which one? Oh, I, I have a physical copy of Juwan. Oh no! <laughs> Please don't. You're gonna suffer yourself. All right. Uh, you're gonna see a black between, cat right like, here. Between like the five of us, there are four physical copies. Black cat. And then you. Uh, hey. Another get calling to open up The. Whatever the, the boy is uh. in it. Oh no! It's Hoshio! The little boy! <laughs> open it up again. No. So, Jude, would you say fun. that he's uh, the prototype of cat boys? Oh no. No. Please don't. <laughs> That's. That's crossing a line. Please don't. He's no, you made me. He you made me not say something as well because I talk about the sissy meter as well. All right, do not talk about cat boys. That's fair. <laughs> All right, uh, you're gonna see a little bit of like a hit, like just popping up right there, because uh, you need to go back. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. This just goes up, go, go down. All right. Um, I need to go back to the phone call because you you definitely need to pick up the phone call right now. Uh, right now. So. Um, in the hospital, you actually play as uh, Miki, if I'm not mistaken. Miki, uh, she's a patient here, and then afterwards, she, she's like, what happened to everyone? Because everyone just is, isn't like around, so like, <laughs> so I need to pick up this uh, you know, paper right here. You know, I could have told that person that there was gonna be. Oh, uh, that phone. Whoa! This is scary, guys. <laughs> I can't. Just get this. Game makes me laugh more than I, I'm actually scared. I honestly couldn't tell if you were genuinely scared or not. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, you got a piece of pizza. Congratulations. All right, can I? Uh, uh, okay, so right here, I had to look straight. If I don't look straight, right, and I if I look like left or right, um, the the camera uh pans towards the oh no, it, it pans straight towards the door and then goes back to uh, whatever you're looking at. It, it's so dumb, I don't know why. I just want to look at the thing that I want to go, but no, it just pans to, like, it pans straight. I wouldn't open that. Uh, I will. It's a cute cat. Cat, how did, why did you, you had all that hair there, what happened? Also, we're not going to pick up that thing. All right, cool. Um, one more Jeez, time. Jeez, don't you own a cat, Starwin? Obviously, it ate it all. Mm -hmm. One more time, we're going to look cat. straight, and then, yeah, cool. Then. Just wait about 30 minutes, it'll spit it back out. Mm -hmm. My cat has three legs. True story. 
These bad men. We call it. We call it tripod. All right. Uh, let me go to the store and then uh, try to open up the store. And then, wait. What's that? Ah. Kayako. Yo, what are you doing here? Oh no. Oh no, I'm scared. Ah. My goodness. Ah. <laughs> Well, I do love okay. Kayako's design, though. I was going to say, like, I love the moments with her in this game. They're actually pretty fun. Did you know that? Yeah, I was going to mention, I was actually going to mention that, like, when the light's actually not shining on her face, her eyes will glow in the dark. It's actually yeah. kind of creepy. Oh, did you did you also know that uh, Kayako is, like, uh, like a demon mom or something like that? And then uh, Hoshio is, like, the son of Kayako. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the uh, story from Juan the Grudge. Like, you watch mm -hmm. the movie, uh, and that'll kind of give a lot of the, uh, the stuff, like... I know some people, some people are taking spoilers, but like, um, you know, there's an American film. I think they made a reboot recently. Uh, yeah, speaking of one. which, did you all ever watch The the Curse, Juan the Curse, instead of Juan the yes. Grudge? No, yes. I'm not. <laughs> I don't yeah, think so. so. So, Juan was actually like kind of a home movie quality film series before it was redone as The Grudge with a higher budget. Oh, there you go. And it. Actually, there were a couple short movies even before The Curse that had Kayako and Hoshio in it as well. Oh, yeah, they also made a movie that's called uh, Kayako versus Sadako, which is like Juon yeah, Ju and the Ring crossover. And I, I absolutely, like, I don't know why. I, I, wanna I, say I that... feel like that, that movie is just, like, weird in the sense. Hey, hey. I want to say that's on Shudder. Hey, America got Freddy versus Jason. Japan can have that. It's fine. The great thing too is China has like five of those versus movies with different urban legend monsters. By the way, I just want to say as a premise for like, I think what I heard about Sadako versus Kayako, um, the premise for anyone who's wondering, this is like the ring versus the grudge. And I think what they do is they curse one person with both curses. Yep. And then they just kind of fight. Yeah, yeah they fight awesome. over who can take the soul. Like, that imagine like, uh, awesome. what's the word? I, I don't know how to put it. like, it's like spy versus spy or something. <laughs> Alright, let me pick up this uh, key right there, and then uh, this is the rooftop key. We have to go all the way to the rooftop now, but uh, there's gonna be a few roadblocks before we go up to the roof. Also, like, coming up to the roof, there's gonna be one speedrun skip. Funny enough, there's a speedrun skip for this game. I don't know why, there's but sure. Tech? Yeah, there is a speedrun skip. There's tech besides skipping cutscenes? <laughs> yep. Only one, only one. I'll, I'll talk about that like when we get to the roof. But uh, Jack Chawagan knows the uh, Catboy short film, the four 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 whatever. Man, if this, is, this was a Isn't four, yeah. like the number of death and uh. Oh yeah, there's like yeah, four, it's, four, it's four, the four, same yeah, premise yeah. where it's the same premise where you get the the phone call from that number that's all fours and it's hmm. the sound of a cat meowing and then the little ghost boy comes and gets you all right more hmm. more quick time events uh can you go to the door right there oh i think my remote to like the left just and right there we go just move it just move it just move it just move I, like, it. I like how he goes to the door first without thinking about moving the right moving the, the culture or the stretcher like why why do you go to the door first all right um turn there we go oh yeah you can see like uh oh man i missed it you can see hoshio on the stairs but like i i missed it because yeah funny enough i can't turn sure but there's a ball oh no please do not do that oh my god the controls man the controls in this game is just weird i i don't like it so you, joe i'd like to ask yeah. a question for a lot of the runners in the show what made you want to learn this game Funny enough, I blame you. <laughs> but, uh, That's fair. yeah, okay, uh, here comes Tentacle Monster. We're gonna do, like, three quick time events. Um, uh, I, I, I will talk about, uh, me learning the game, uh, or how I wanted to learn the game, but, like, you watch this part. This part is just weird. Oh, take your time, take your time. Yeah, so there's gonna be, like, a hair tentacle monster, and then, like, he, uh, she actually has to fight this tentacle monster, but then, she uses the flashlight just to do this, like fencing or some, some, some stuff. And then you have to do like one I mean, more time, but like fencing again. <laughs> it's like in Jabu Jabu's <laughs> belly. <laughs> All right, uh, there you go. All right, cool. We defeated the uh, tentacle monster that's on the uh, on the on the ceiling. All right, so um, how did I uh, how 
I wanted to learn this game was that um, basically when I was like really really young I actually watched uh, PewDiePie uh, if you guys do know about PewDiePie um, he played Jew on the Grudge like back in like 2012 I or 2013 if I'm not mistaken and then, I'm gonna say that that's where I first saw this game too yeah, honestly yeah so I saw this game and I was like wow this really looks interesting and then like, Dices actually played this game and, uh, or like speed on this game I was like oh cool and then I, I found on my local site that this game cost like $15 instead of like Amazon and I'm like okay I'm gonna buy this plus a Wii I bought this game in a Wii I played this game I regret playing this game I speedrun it <laughs> one, one and done and then with wait hold on okay here comes the speedrun skip there you go that's it that's the speedrun skip and that's it you literally just go Yay. back yeah so if you go you. if you go forward right you have to look at this guy j just uh jumping down but uh we can bypass that by just like turning back and just going towards this door uh but yeah uh other than that um i i played this game i regret playing this game i won and done the speed run and then i got second place and then i didn't want to touch this game again until egg dices told me uh egg dices was like yes or no i said yes and then he said okay you're gonna run Ju on in the, in the next two weeks i'm like what also, OCO's here. Um, oh yeah, here comes the most dramatic part of this game. Oh. Whoa! Oh no! Yo! What's happening? Why? Okay, there we go. We're done. Go. I, I mean, love this game so much. The meowing didn't work. He had to take action. So, I can't believe I'm going to do this to myself, but hey, Juho. Oh. So, you're trying to say these controls are bad, so I guess they're not very rewarding. Rewarding? <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> really? Yay! You know, you know, it, it, it's been a while. He had a nice break. He really recharged his batteries. We're off electricity puns. No, but we're still in battery, we're so I can still bring it back. Battery puns, huh? Well, let's see how much of a sissy Juho was that All time. All right. Am I a sissy, Super. chat? <laughs> there was this thing that I wanted to say, but, like, Egg, to Egg Dice just told me, like, not to, and I'm like, okay, sure. All oh, right, yeah. I'm, there you go. Not a sissy at all, but which is a good thing. All right, we're going to the derelict apartments, and you're playing as Ken, or Kenji. Uh, he's a delivery man. <laughs> He just had to do yeah, stuff. I'm really happy we have the replays on the screen. Oh no! I'm just looking just at Juo like, <laughs> like, in the chair. Love, love the replay feature on the bottom oh, left. God. I just want to give special shout outs to Tech. Uh, um, the derelict house. Um, there is going to be a new feature in the derelict house, uh, and it will be used on the last episode as well. So we're halfway done into this game, anyways. Uh, the longest episode is the last one, so. All the other, uh, the other two, I think it's gonna be like about like ten minutes ish. Uh, so yeah, I think we're halfway done. But yeah, um, uh, we we just go to this house and just like, uh, oh, go to the apartments and actually just try to deliver stuff. And then at the back, it's like, yeah, you can hear that. It's so loud. Um, those are like, um, how you say, uh stuff falling down behind us and uh it blocks the way so you have to find like a way out after uh delivering stuff to uh, this apartment house yeah you know gotta respect the persistence of this delivery guy mm -hmm. oh yeah by the way when i first played this game i actually spent like an hour two hours on this game because I, or on this episode actually because i didn't know where to go and it was so dark until I find out yeah. that you have to go into this area right here because I was playing my on like another capture device I, I'm playing on like another capture device than uh, the usual capture capture device that I have but yeah it's just so dark I don't know why you can't really like enhance the uh, the brightness for this game they just give you like a, what like a screen capture and it's like oh just see the colors and then if you see the colors you're all good I'm like I don't have a I don't have a of it, 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 it sounds like Silent Hill Homecoming. Yeah. Sounds like Silent Hill Origins. I mean, not, oh, not yeah. Origins, not, or <laughs> not Origins. Uh, what no, was the, the one one? Uh, I don't remember what it is. I think, yeah, I think it's Origins, yeah. Uh. 
Yeah, for anybody, this game is fun for, 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 it's like a good night of gaming. If you want to like, if you have friends that get scared really easy, this game is fun. Oh yeah. Um, funny enough, the key is right behind this thing. You can't really see it until you look into the room. You, you won't find this key until you look at that area. Even if you're like, look around the area you can't really see the key unless it's like you you see it glowing and that's it it's so dumb i, I spent like a, about 30 minutes finding the key until i find out that, I found out that it's there yeah um smoke hey free box oh no a ninja wait no that's payaso how'd you do that <laughs> i don't know it's it's a ninja man all right more quick time events right here all right here comes a good panning Camera panning, you just whoa, wee! <laughs> you just slide towards the right for some reason. There you go. She slapped the camera and it did to a 360. Yeah. All right, I need to go a little straight and then turn. All right, cool. All right, you're gonna see uh, a little someone who's uh, ringing the doorbell because uh, you can hear that someone's actually ringing the doorbell at the moment. Um, and uh, it's who's doorbell? I don't know. It's Oshio, just right there. Oshio, do you stop that, man? That's not nice. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm surprised the doorbell still works with the house all blowing up like that. He's doing the ding dong and not the ditching. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He's trying to break it. Yeah. Oh yeah, shadow people as well. Wow. They're just cool. chilling. Yeah, this <laughs> ghost train. <laughs> they're just, they're just chilling, just standing there, like yo. I'm just chilling right there. Also, uh, head. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. All these like haunted and... house kind of scenario, uh, like um, props in this game. It's, oh my god. It's oh, more, there's the hands. It's more comedic than scary, I guess. Oh yeah, listen to this ball. Look, listen to the sound of this ball. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. That's how a ball would sound like. Well, I don't even remember that ball. I don't know. I think it covered it in mud and it was like. It like, didn't what? sound like mud. I don't so, know. But Juho, on average, is on the first three chapters, does it just take two batteries? Yeah, every every single uh, episode is uh, taking two, uh, one battery and that's it. Really? Even the, even the last chapter being uh, just significantly longer? Yeah. You only just need two batteries. Wow, okay. Yeah. It's. Uh, all of them are two batteries. Oh, the last episode is actually like it, it gives like a new kind of feature as well, where you actually just collect uh, three parts of a key. And then, yeah. Um, all right. So I need to go to this floor right here. Uh, take a key that we need to go downstairs later. If I can take the key, thank you very much. Room oh, for two, another thing, Starwind. Um... Whoa! Oh my oh, God! Whoa! Oh my That's God! That's a scare! Oh my God, dude! Oh. For the batteries, uh, if you're doing a true ending, you do need more batteries because you just have to spend more time each level. Mm, right. Oh my god, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't scared about Hand. I wasn't scared about the blood. I was scared about the whole quick turning because I don't know why. Quick turning's uh, really sensitive for some reason. Alright. You didn't deliver use that the package. Game. Yeah, he delivered the package and then like because um the I say the the place that he was supposed to go is blocked off, so he needed to find another way to get to him. So, yeah. Ah, so he goes into people's apartments. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. So I'm gonna stand right here. That's it. We're just gonna stand here, and then we're just gonna wait. Not entering the door. <laughs> the ding dong. But but the person doesn't ditch. Comes in, or she comes in actually. There you go. Kayako is in. Oh no. She's in! Alright, more quick time events. And now uh, we get introduced to the new type, right? Yeah, we get introduced into like this new feature where you just have to point the Wiimote on the circle. Do that, and that's it. Uh oh. I don't know what's, what's it for, it's just like, oh, you're, you're just scared and stuff, but uh, sure. I feel like uh -huh. if like person is like, if, if someone actually plays this game more, like, it's really much of a scary cat. They will, like, shake a lot. Oh, yeah. man. They will, like, shake a lot feel... and go out of the circle. I feel bad for anyone who doesn't calibrate before this. <laughs> that is the truth. Oh, yeah, Hoshio is here. Hi, Hoshio. <laughs> Bye. 
and we just like bust through we bust through the wall the wood <laughs> wow man why didn't you do that man. earlier that's what i would have been doing already i wasn't scared <laughs> earlier the sissy meter went up <laughs> thanks uh can i turn thank you all right cool Oh, so, um, one more thing in this game. Just one more thing in this game. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Isn't that the dog? Is that the door? Uh, no, I yeah, don't think it's the dog. The dog. <laughs> I don't know. That man. is supposed to be the dog, yeah. Oof. From the first chapter? Yeah. Oh. No kidding. They're really mean. Yikes. All right. Um, well, coming, uh, we're almost to the end of this, uh, episode. Basically, uh, right now we get a lot of scares, uh, a, a, a lot of quick time events as well. Oh, there we go! Um, no, scary! And then you get a, a little Whoa, bit of Hoshio on the oh, side. <laughs> Into your face, cool. Let's do this. Imagine if you could run like this all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here comes a spider woman. <laughs> it's on the wall, spider woman. Kayako the spider woman. Now Kayako and she's the exorcist. Whoa. Right, and then go back. And then uh oh. for fun and then good little in the mouth of madness reference. <laughs> Just the exorcist, man. Where is she? Where is she? Whoa. I think she's long gone. Alright. Yeah, this part's funny. We're safe. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the uh yeah, that's what makes you remember from Pootie Pie. That's the part where he like freaks he's like, out. He's like, oh, 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 oh my God. That, that's one of the funniest stuff I've watched when I was like watching this game. I was like, yeah, like games like like Pootie Pie back in the day like introduced me to a lot of horror games, and so was Two Best Friends Play. Like they should be like calling and the 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 definite uh, cult classic that no one heard has ever heard of is Cursed Mountain on the Wii. Oh. Oh, I actually have that on the Wii and on the PC. Mm -hmm. right. That game's that game, fun. That game is interesting. This is the last character, which is called Hero. Uh, Hiroshi, I think. Yeah. Is he, um, is he, is he the hero? <laughs> no. But uh, okay. Hiroshi is uh, a security guard in this, uh, I think, building. And then um, the power went out, so he has to find out what happened to the power. So, there we go. So Juho, seeing you play this game makes me think that you would really enjoy another Wii horror game. The Calling? I don't know if you, you know. No. Escape from Bug Island. No. No, please no. 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 I heard about that no. game. Please no. I don't want to. Uh, that game is absolutely worse than this game. Oh yeah, Mannequin, sure. All right. Wait, what's happening? <gasps> Oh no! Whoa! Look at her <laughs> weird eyes. Cool. All right. So um, in this episode, or in this last episode, actually, uh, we are we are supposed to collect three parts of the key, or like three numbers, to put into a numpad. Uh, the first one is gonna be right around here. move towards the left if possible there you go that's a good that's a good turn to the to the left actually oh beautiful oh beautiful yeah. turning left it's it's really hard to even do it just it is yeah, this is just bad. when you play this game for the first time you're just like really Dude, when I, this when is I how this, i move when, when i played this game for the first time i had to i had to sit on my bed i like my bed it's, is just right behind and i sat on my bed just to play this game i was like why? Why do I have to play on my bed just to play this game? And I realize yeah, I can game... actually just like, what, sit back like this and then, yeah, pull. Yeah, this game is really unique, man, in terms of the way it moves. Yeah, like, it's, they're controlled. It's insane. I'm just saying, like, I'm just doing the pinnacle of speedrunning where I just lay back and speedrun, <laughs> and that's it. Chat, if anyone, if any one of you is a speedrunner, do you guys lay back while speedrunning and say, I get world record, that's it. <laughs> you don't have world record. <sighs> I have not second, yet. I have second place. That's uh, true. Game, that I means Joe's not the continuing to I don't want to. I want him done this game. <laughs> no, you know, you got to keep going. You just said. No, I don't want to. 
You can only you can only quit once you get record. Oh, By the way, I want to give a special shout out to Swordfish. Oh yeah, Swordfish. Um, Swordfish would be here, but I think like again, we, with a lot of runners, they have pretty bad times when uh, compared to EST. I think the it's cool, like the cool thing is working that, hours. The cool thing is that Juon, right? The the speed run lead, lead of for Juon. The first two runners are actually Asian, <laughs> Asians, and then all the others oh, are here. Americans. Oh Juho. Hey man. <laughs> This game is meant for me as well. Juho, Juon. Oh, yeah, sure. Juho, Juon. Mm -hmm. Juho the Grudge. I don't. Well, here comes a thing that I don't know why it does this, but it just does that for whatever reason. All right. Hopefully, I don't turn all the way towards. Uh, please. Can can I turn? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> turn. Thank you. So if you go towards like the right side, the left side for a little bit, you can three sixty all the way or one eighty all the way. Um, and it's really bad, so yeah. Also, Kayako went to the, the men's bathroom, so cool. And I had to point my Wii remote again. Ooh, cut it, cut it close there. Yep. Yeah! There you go, cool. Got it. <laughs> Don't do, do that. That, that stressful part's done. Is a good question. Do you have any uh, shout outs you want to give to anyone? Um, I guess shout outs to uh, Swordfish, Sh shout outs to Nerd Squared as well, and also the other yeah. brothers, like, uh, is it Akibred or <laughs> whatever his name yeah, is? Yeah, Akibard. Yeah, uh, and then you, Sio Siomatic, yeah. Cinematic. Oh, uh, Cinematic, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I guess that's, that's about it, I guess. All yeah, right. uh, the runners for Juon, and then also the runners for Silent Hill as well, because I do run Silent Hill as well, uh, all the, the people on the couch as well, so Starwind. And Internal Enigma and um, Schmumbler. But so you've been running some Silent Hill 4 recently, right? Yeah. I, I, I did like the one. Though, bit anyway, did so. the twin victims get you on that one? Uh, surprisingly, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, oh, it, they it, will. Yeah, it does get me for a little bit, but like, uh, once you get the hang of it, it's like, uh, consistent. All right. Hey, Juho. Yes. Do you actually mind if I do a quick shout out too? Yeah, cool. Yeah, so if. You enjoy Juho, my run, Nicole Goodnight's run. The three of us recently have all gathered together into a stream team called the Clock Tower team. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed the runs tonight, we've got a nice full team of runners for you all to follow and just enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the stream team is actually made by um, one of the people who also worked for GDQ as well, which is me. Beepsaw. Beepsaw, so, yeah. Shout yeah, out to Beepsaw. Oh, I need to do this. Oh! oh my god, no, please don't! No, we lost. No. GG. <laughs> Run over. Run over. Gotta redo it. Yeah. Start the chapter over. Go, go. <laughs> right. More run. So yeah, we got all the all the numbers right now, so now it's just a, a run towards the uh, the door with the keypad. It's literally, literally just a run to the door. So, Juo, I do actually have uh, two questions for you. Go. One, do you have a save file with the fifth level? Yeah, I do. Do you want to do the fifth level? I don't know how to do it, but sure. <laughs> do you, if you can do it, you, you can say no if you want to. Uh, funny enough, I don't know how to do the speed run for that one, so... No worries, I, I, I can no do worries. it, like... As a casual. <laughs> no, uh, man, no, I, worries, no man, worries. It's going to be another hour. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be another hour. It's going to be another like 25 minutes or something. Like that. Uh, no, we, can, we, can, uh, we can leave that for uh, people who go check you out after this yeah, uh, great run. But nah. I'm not going to do the fifth <laughs> level. I, I, can, I can show you guys the fifth level, but like, no. It's, it's the same. It's like a, kind of like a replica of the, uh, the Chuan house. That's it. But uh, yeah. Actually, you actually speedrun true ending and also speedrun the, uh, the the final the final part of the game or the final. Episode yeah, I got world record in true ending actually. Yep. All right. Beep beep. beep. So you key in the numbers nine two six and then you just walk towards uh, the the generator right there. So um, time is coming up really really soon as well because this is the final part of the game as well. Uh, we don't, we're not gonna do the fifth level, but we're just finishing up on uh, any percent actually. 
Uh, but yeah, by the way, if you guys do not know how to get like the, the fifth and final level, right? Um, in each of the episodes, right, you have to collect uh, items just to create a page or a picture. So um, once you collect all the items, right, you get um, like a final episode where you have to go to the new house as Erica from the first episode. But yeah, um, gonna quick turn this door and then we're just gonna walk towards uh, straight and then do a bunch of quick time events and then time will come up pretty soon and this has been a really good 40 ish minutes of this game uh it's been a fun run I, I, all i'm saying is after sitting through almost three hours of downpour this went by really quick yeah, yeah, it went really, by really, fun, really quick. fast <laughs> All right, let me sit up, I'm surprised sit up it's been 40 minutes. All right, hopefully I don't miss miss these because there was this one point where I actually missed all of these and I had to restart all over again, which kind of sucks. All right, here we go. Do it for the Ooh, content. Do it for the content. Just throw it for the content right now. <laughs> but there we go. And then hold on. Almost done. Hold on. And time. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. GG. <laughs> yeah. So, Juo, yes. if people want to find you on Twitch or anything oh. else, where can they find you? Also, All you right. didn't warn us about the last jump scare. Oh, no! <laughs> Episode clear. Jump scare warning. Jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, if people uh, want to find you, where can they find you? Yeah, so um, if they want to find me, uh, just come to uh, Juo Horse, uh, twitch.tv slash Juo Horse. That's J-U-H-Z-O-R-S-E. Hey, no sissy meter. <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! Um... And uh, yeah, I'm a speedrunner from Singapore. So yay, Singapore! Woo! Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for having me. Actually, um, it's pretty cool Man, to be fun. back on uh, speedrun from the crypt. Thank you for having us. Yeah. In this impromptu commentary. Uh huh. <laughs> no problem. So yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, from playing one of the best walking simulator horror games on your show to playing one of the worst walking simulator horror games on your show. <laughs> Hey, I'm just say I made Starwin play Annie. I think that was a dirtier move. It was pretty filthy. Yeah. Uh, this game no is a beauty. Yeah. Compared to I guess. Do we still want to go into like the cursed house and just take a look no, at it? No. Um. I. Th I think. Um. <laughs> I. We can leave that for another time. All right. If people want to check it. you out for the cursed house, you can find uh, Juo at uh, you know Twitch.tv slash Juhorse. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's where you can find him. So we have the link there. And uh, I just want to say thank you for doing the run. Uh, before we do a head on off, anyone have anything they want to add? Uh, play spooky games. Yeah, play spooky play games. Play spooky games. Speed run or not, play spooky games. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think and that's it. And be good people. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's about it for me. Uh, take care, you guys. Uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to be uh, wrapping it on uh, about up for the night. I do want to say uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this. It has been a, a fun time showing you these good games, and I am sorry to spoil the joke earlier. They weren't very good, were they? No. No. <laughs> but they were no. fun. They no. were fun. That's the important part. That's all that matters. They're, they were fun. Exactly. They were fun. And, uh, they're be a definitely lot more, jokes. Uh, are they, sure. though? I think they are. <laughs> uh, it'll be a lot more fun stuff anyway uh, this is has been the episode of speedruns in the crypt uh, we're gonna be finishing up for today uh, before we do end though I just want to remind people that tomorrow we're gonna be having the first step uh, with Dark Souls Remastered I'll be starting at 7pm Eastern uh, as well if you uh, do enjoy speedruns in the crypt we are a bi-weekly horror show we're here every other Wednesday and we have a lot of different horror games usually different themes uh, we're we'll have a lot of fun in that sense so i hope you'll join us for next time and we'll be back in two weeks uh, as well if you uh, enjoy me the host uh, i'm mcdysis uh you can find me at twitch.tv slash mcdysis and i just you know do a lot of horror games in general so feel free to say hi uh, we're gonna be finding someone to raid to share the love of horror so come join us and have a great night